I had my mic on mute. My bad. Totally and utterly, yeah, professional streamer. Hashtag professional stream, everybody. Okay. So. Scott, what's that? <laughs> exactly. So, um, I, my, my life, my life was, was just, uh, oh, who are you? I do not know this person who has, who has, oh, how sweet. Anyways, uh, I, my life had, had, had no meaning after Ori. It just, it had no meaning. And, 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 and there's a cat that's chewing on my microphone cord. So we're going to just, you know, push her away. Ty, go away now. Hi, Rio. Hi, Tech. Hi, Iren. Anyways, so, um, and so I, you know, I put up, put a poll up on my, in my Discord. Tayo, over here. Tayo. And say, you know, what do I want to, what, what, you know, these, these are all games that I do want to play. You know, I have them. I've been wanting to play them. And, you know, what would people want to see? And, uh, it started, it looked like, you know, Forgotten City was going to win by a landslide. And then before your eyes started making an appearance. And um, by the end, it was, it was pretty close. It was pretty close. There were only two votes separate, two votes, uh, votes, wow. Two votes separating them. But Forgotten City has won. So, uh, so here's the thing. I actually did not know that this game began as a Skyrim mod. It was it was just a mod. It was a Skyrim mod and then it uh, got its own game. And a cat is eating my monitor now. She likes to eat all my stuff. Ty, stop. I'm gonna turn there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> thank you so much for the follow, Bon Bon Berry! Ah so um that, okay, I am now giggly. Uh, bon Bon Berry and I have been talking, and uh, I'm going to be getting a 3D model, hopefully. And uh, yeah, you will have Bunny in 3D. Oh my god, Bunny in 3D. So exciting. Um, so, yay! So happy! Um, but yeah, I'm actually going to hopefully uh, as well be getting uh, finger tracking as well, so you'll be... So when I talk with my hands which I do all the time, you're actually going to see me talk with my hands, which is going to be funny. So I am excited. I'm very excited for Bon Bon to do my 3D model. We've been talking. I've apparently completely information dumped and <laughs> given a lot of information. So uh, I'll be playing with... Uh, <laughs> I'll be playing with a kind of a, a... the closest thing to a stock model uh, tomorrow, just to you know, see what what uh, programs I like and how things are and things like that. But anyways, to the game, to the game. I did not realize this was a Skyrim mod, and uh, so I'm kind of excited about that because you know I I love my Skyrim. I do love my Skyrim. So, with for, without any further ado, we are going to get into a time travel adventure to figure out what happened to a city. Dun dun. And hopefully not have... Oh, awesome! That'd be wonderful. Thanks so much. The core team of people of four years. Support a lot of Can you doing what we love? Mystery adventure with multiple endings. It requires thoughtful conversation exploration, not brute force. Well then. Look. Present day. I don't know why Nightbot isn't letting you do the lurk, but okay. There we go. Hey, you're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, want to tell me who you are? Wow, this is already definitely Skyrim. It's like, oh, hi, I have no, who, no idea who the heck you are. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> uh, 
I guess we'll go with that. I that's kind of cute. I like that. Uh, we're gonna go a little darker. <laughs> and we're gonna say Heather. My name is Hello. Heather. It's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? Um, let's see. I maybe okay. I am I'm so I, I was either an arch I'm either an archaeologist. I'm a soldier. I've military issued firearm but only ten bullets. You have to use them judiciously since there's no way to get more. I'm a fugitive. Your time on the run from authorities has made you quicken your feet and you're 25 percent faster when sprinting. Or your recent head trauma has increased your pain threshold, making you 50% harder to take down. Uh you know, I like story. I really like story. So I'm going to go with I was searching for ancient ruins because I like the uh, studying history gave me occasional insights into the ancient world. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Really? Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. Al? He went in there a few hours ago, okay. and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. Yeah, your I eyes definitely after him, look like you were freaking but out. He made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... What I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him. If you can do that... I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Please? You know, and I, and I do love, and I do love, you know, a good, uh, you know, some good ruins here. We're going to, there we go. What do we got? I want to ask some questions. Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just, what do you want to know? Everything! <laughs> awesome! You made some popcorn in real life! That's a good idea, because we're going to get some story. Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Girl, know same. I mean? Are you going to tell me your name? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. I really would like to know if I'm especially going to be helping you. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cringy, <laughs> it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. Oh, that's great! My name's Karen. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, all those Karen memes have really ruined that name, huh? Uh, yeah, something like that. But right now, I have bigger problems, like <laughs> finding Al. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I love it. Just He's out. the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. Did that dragon but fly on her maybe head? Maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Once you find him. Where the hell are we? You really don't remember? Nope. We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Oh, the Tiber. Okay. What can you tell me about the ruins? Yeah, I saw the name. <laughs> I was like, oh, my name's Karen. Oh. Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. <laughs> what am I, an idiot? Yes. You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. Uh, okay, okay. Fine, Karen. I like how she even has, like, the Karen haircut, too. That's great. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? I, I, I guess so. All right, I'm in. Thank you. The Wonder what would happen if I said I pass. Behind you. Please, hurry. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. What are you giving me? What you got? What you... A flashlight! A heavy-duty... 
power heavy duty battery powered flashlight. I will. I'm examining your item. This this looks like a average mag light. Yes. I will take. Dun dun! Oh my god, that is legitimate. <laughs> Quid pro quo. Alright, so I'm looking around. Cool. So that's where the ruins are. I can jump. Good. I can jump. The ruins are just beyond those columns. Please, hurry. Use. That's not. Oh. Oh! That's my flashlight. Okay. That's my quest tracking. Uh, da, da, da. Quid pro quo. Here's my inventory. A denarius! I have one denarius! Roman coin made of silver. And a flashlight. That's all I have. And... Pulled out of a river by a young woman named Karen. In return for saving my life, she wants to find a man named Al who disappeared in some ancient ruins. Okay. We will do quid pro... We will do the quid pro quo. And I have my... I, ca I can't attack with the flashlight, but okay. So if these are ruins... I, I'm entering the ruins. I guess somebody lit a fire. That might... <laughs> Search for clues about Al's whereabouts. I would really like to know who uh, who lit the fire, though. I mean, you ever notice that in games like this? It's like, oh, there, but there's always a torch. A little torch must have been lit by Al. I am going the right way. Okay. Interesting. I don't want to... Okay, I guess I... Whee. Hey, it's better sprinting than it was in Faz! Okay, still, still going the right way. That being said, I don't trust Karen. Yeah. Well, we, we have an assumption on, yes, I know where I'm supposed to be going, but, you know, this is, I, I don't like just, you know, going where I'm supposed to go. I like going in places where I'm not supposed to go. Okay. Well, apparently I'm not gonna, oh well. Use this to lower my flashlight. Okay. Boop. I'm just gonna, I know there's a note on the door. I'm just gonna look around. That's that's all. I'm just looking. Okay, so apparently there's a. Uh, okay, there's a invisible, visible wall. What do we got? Examine. A backpack full of worn hiking clothes and empty food packets. Nothing valuable here, but still, it seems strange that Al left left it behind. Can I take it? That'd be cool. All right. I guess I have to leave it. Three. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Okay. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. Yeah. It reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. Oh, really? The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For ah. this shall be their final resting place. Yes, showered in gold, because gold is also heavy. the underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Yes. Could people have survived down there, against the odds? Uh, Seems there's only one way to find out. That'd be creepy out. if it did. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this... An invitation. Or a warning. A warning. Al Worth. Al Worth. Okay. What? Hey! Hey! No! Okay. I'm just, uh...
I, I, I guess I'm not. Also, I, apparently I can breathe underwater. Okay. Um. Yeah. We have some Roman statues going on here. I'm Heather. I'm I, I'm Heather. That that's who I am. I. I... Not oh showered in gold. I 99.9% .9 sure these are all the people that got turned to gold. Oh not sure I want to touch that yet. Right, a mid stride. What could have what could have made a gladiator flee? Hey, hey, um, 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 uh, that that statue was looking over here. The last time I looked, see what? No, no, not no, no. Not, not liking this. Why are they looking at me? What the fuck? Yeah, no, not, not happy with this. Not. Don't like this. Why are you looking at me? No. Kira Kesne. I'm assuming that is who are you. No, I don't like how you're all looking at me! Alright, on that note, Valian, I love you. But I'm taking that away. I am taking that away. <laughs> on YouTube without getting copyright strikes. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna disable it for this. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to play this without <laughs> without getting a copyright strike on my YouTube channel. Oh. So, um, you know what? I'll, I'll leave it on, but I'm going to make it worth your while. It's now, it's now 10,000 bits. <laughs> so if you want to give me, if you want to give me 10,000 bits to play Baby Shark. I'm gonna cry. Um, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna start disabling a few things just because I do want to be able. <laughs>
<laughs> no, go go follow Zalion. Go follow Zalion. He they're, they're they're great. They are really really great. I'm just oh, you know what I can do? I can I'm I'm gonna make uh I will put these back at normal afterwards. But uh, I I kind of want to um I I want to have a, a relatively uh not insane stream. So, uh, okay. Everything else is fine. The Faz heartbeat, the Faz ring, uh, Coco's good morning, motherfuckers. <laughs> no, 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 it's not your fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. I just don't want to, uh, I don't, I, I want to be able to play this game and, uh, not, not have to mute large sections of my audio <laughs> when I upload this to YouTube. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I can save. Save. You save. Uh, no likey. But that was really good timing. No, don't worry about it. It's 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 fine. We're we're all fine. I am not happy. Young woman, she looked like she was begging for her life. So. Yeah, these are obviously the non-virtuous. So I can't actually look at these guys. Yeah, I'm I'm not cool with 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 the statues that are following me. That's just uh That's not cool. Not, not, not happy with that. Uh... But that was, it was amazing timing. I'm like freaking out and then suddenly baby shark, do, 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 baby shark, do, 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 baby shark, do, 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 baby shark. Okay. F5, quick save. Oh my god. Some of the fact that they gave me the quick save option. Our own military commander attempted to scramble away from something. <sighs> I'm not happy. This is creepy. Legionary in a state of terror. Yeah, I can see that. No, do not like the statues that move. Oh, the statues that move are creepy. Oh, the statues that move are creepy. It's going to uh, get... get I was going to take a while for me to get used to the fact that um, I can now save without, like, using any, uh, like, any, any, any energy or anything like that. I can just, like, walk two, walk two feet save, walk two feet save, walk two feet save. So they're all, they're all running away. Yeah, Rowan one appears to be praying for help that never came. That's a pot of oh my god. You know what? I'm just not gonna look back. I am not going to look back at the statues. I'm I'm not going to. I'm just going to 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 just go on. And I'm going to ignore the statues that Oh hi. Old man wearing. Oh my god. It's Al. To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles. A lifetime searching just for a way out. Started. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here, there are only two options. Death, 
in that godforsaken doorway into the past. Oh, okay. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now and find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Well, um... I don't want to be gold, so, uh... Time to go through. Al, are you gonna look at me too, Al? <laughs> he's he's just hanging from a rope. He um he killed himself, Ree. He uh he, he purposely killed himself. He was I like how I can't sprint. Oh, it's because I was crouching. State of panic. Yes! Yes I can! Okay. Okay. Not 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 happy. I'm... Yeah, I I I I got gotcha. you. Can't go up. Can I can I go away? No, I want to go the other way. Of begging the gods for mercy. Oh, that just looks not cool. And there's bones. Whoever was it died a long, long time ago. Who are you? Empty lighter. Look who Al used to light all these torches. Okay, fair. Can you stop that? Uh, oh, we're Doctor Who, apparently. Uh, click the eye icons beside it. Okay, gotcha. F5 to quick. Yes, I gotcha. F5 to quick saves and F9 to quick load. Is very bright. Is super bright. Is very bright. Okay, step through the doorway into the past. I I have done this. Do I still have my flashlight? I do have my flashlight. Okay. One right here can send me back. I've done that. Flashlight and an inscribed stone tablet. Oh, so I actually took that. Okay. Uh, relief. Roman relief to bring a great circular portal and two women. I wonder who they could be. No, those aren't apples. Those are pomegranates. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> We're in Hades. We're in Hades. These are pomegranates. Or oh, it's a representation of Hades. Hi. Um. Yeah. Uh, hey, dude. Salve, friend. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Uh... Let's go. I'm Heather. I've just come from the future. Uh, 
No idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? Yes, but that <sighs> is a completely right, different... Everyone's welcome here. No, seriously, what is today's date? We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March? Or late February. <laughs> Thank you for the fast heartbeat. It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the empire are you from exactly? Uh, okay. Doesn't help me, it's this is before after Christ. Archaeologist insight, so it's 65 CE. CE? Common era. No idea what you're talking about. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you. you seem very lost and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's, well, it's kind of horrific. But our uh. magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him. So I guess I'll let him fill you in. Yes, so that would then, be nice. You coming? Uh, I'll make my own way. Look, you seem like you might need a little extra help, and I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I showed you the way. Uh, I don't worry about All me. All right, friend, suit yourself. Just don't do anything too reckless till you've spoken with Magistrate Sentius in his villa down there. So you're around. I just want to, you know. Yes, the gold end rule. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a thing. It, 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 it very pretty. Save. I save. Yeah, there's no skeleton. Whoever was here hasn't died yet. Unless that skeleton was me! So, point of origin, golden rule. Let's do the golden rule. Learn about the golden rule. I'm gonna put that on the map. Okay, so it's that direction. Let's, uh, let's go around here. Let's have some fun. Oh, and there's some statues. There's some statues already. I, uh, I'm Heather. I'm, I'm Heather. No, nope, 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 not gonna worry about that. I'm, as much as I want to explore... Garum, or fermented fish sauce used as a condiment. Gives off a faint, salty aroma. Okay, we'll leave it. I'm not going to steal anything. I'm not going to harm anything. Don't steal anything. Don't hurt anyone. Don't. Whoever wrote this didn't get a chance to finish, evidently. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. I'm, again, not stealing anything. I'm not going to hurt anybody. I'm just kind of, uh... It's just being chill. We're being chill. Yeah, don't. Just don't. <laughs> yeah, you would touch everything and you would end up being gold. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Okay, uh, I will. Uh, what's I expect the Magistrate wants to brief you about the Golden Rule. Okay. It shouldn't take too long. He's busy preparing for the election later today. Uh, Alright. Follow me. I'll, I'll go. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the Golden Rule. 
Let me see if I can explain it this way. Good, I can just when follow I was him. serving in the Legion. If there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Oh, yeah. They had done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. Decimate. That is true, actually. We call it decimation. That, that is actually like very true. To you. You're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. So it's just Mason. can explain the rest. He's up these stairs. Hello, Magistrate. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I'm Heather. A curious name to match a curious accent. What you talking about? But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of Athena. Thank you. You must be a woman of great learning. I am. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. Uh, it's, it is beautiful. I, I, I don't want to piss anybody off. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here. Over the last seven months. It's only been seven. Twenty-two okay. complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. Yeah. No fights, no theft, nothing. Yeah, Have exactly. Ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Uh, I can't say I have. Nor could I. Until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every Aww. last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, Oh, that's the creepy. The many shall suffer for the sins of, of the, the one. one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom Yeah, is I probably assured. would too, Rio. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. I, I have many questions. Uh, what counts as a sin? An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does exactly, I read who's deciding what is a sin and what's not. ill-defined wrong. Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. Yeah, everybody must and be perfect. we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. Uh, I got some bad news for you about Rome. You know, that's true. I'm going to say what is legal isn't always moral, and many of your laws and customs are considered barbaric where I'm from. Barbaric? 
barbaric. What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified yeah, it's who you call tribes a citizen. all That's across the, the Mediterranean problem. and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin uh, or their sexual not preference. Not quite sure about Can that, Magistrate. When our people are starving, they are given food rations. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party <laughs> You're so right, Prince. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault, and rape, as well as theft and arson, and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh... I'm going to say, uh, don't you law? Don't you have laws of and laws? What else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed? And besides, there are laws for their protection as well. But watch blood sport for entertainment. Occasion. But our gladiators are almost all volunteers seeking glory, or condemned prisoners who would have been executed anyway. I do not see the harm. Yeah, huh? Don't women have fewer rights? Of course. But with fewer rights come fewer responsibilities. Yeah, you. And the right to be. Yeah, you can shove that up your ass. Uh, you mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half of Rome? Right? Okay, okay, you have a point. It's hard to blame the people for being angry about that. You do have a point. That is. That is yes. I'll give you that one. Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. Uh-huh. We consider those things to be abhorrent. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies. In the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. What do you mean you said, uh, Persephone? You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle. Yeah, you wouldn't last five minutes. <laughs> it's said to open a doorway in time so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. Yeah. You don't belong in our time, do you? Nope, not at all. Two thousand years? Barbarians destroyed with facts and logic! Please, tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us? Uh... Of this? city you'd all been turned into golden statues i have imagined it our downfall a thousand times but it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it how does the ritual work all i can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to proserpina i stumbled across instructions I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. Mm -hmm. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. Yeah. I don't suppose you saw any sign of need in the future? I did see human remains. I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? I'm like distracted by his hair texture. Like I know what they're doing. They're making it like gray and highlights, but like it just really looks like his hair is glitching. Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. 
Why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it will seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Yeah, well, fair enough. Tip, these questions will be available later. Yeah, but I still like talking. All right, dude. Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is? Yes. Anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation... I appreciate that, actually. I really do. Me? Why would you suspect me? I've just told you. I'm about to sacrifice my own life to ensure these people have a second chance. What reason could you possibly have to suspect me, of all people? Well, maybe you killing I'm yourself you is what did so. it. Without trust, without each other, we won't be able to prevent what is about to happen. Yeah, I'm going to tell her. If I understand Proserpina's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Makes sense? But if I never come back, then I can't change the past, and hence the paradox. I think so. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to <laughs> No, no, it does not. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have much choice. No, I don't suppose you do. But I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation. Okay, good point. I'm in. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city. Talk to everyone. So there's 21 Help people. If it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents. Okay. Unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Okay. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. Gotcha. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. It seems Aww. like something's not right. Okay. Uh, I'll get right on it. Interesting. Okay. Stretch, hydrate, and posture. Okay, stretching. Stretching. Oh, and I've actually already downed an entire thermos of water, but drink some water. Mm -hmm. There's the last of the first thermos of water. Posture check. Okay. Look everywhere. Okay. Mm. Okay. So what's my inventory? I don't, I don't have anything. Okay. Okay. Quick save. I'm actually going to do a full save. By enter homes, you mean your own. Nope, not stealing. Not gonna steal. Enter homes offered daily prayers of protection. It's a bust. Beautiful tapestry, though.
Alright, uh, let's start talking to people then. Once so I've got some bread. Carrots are purple, as they were before modern orange carrots were cultivated. No, oh, correct. Fish. Hello. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? What's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. She's got, like, the what crazy eyes. What are you eyes. doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? I'm, uh, not from around really? here. Really? I'd never have noticed. What with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. All right, bitch. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. If bitchiness is a sin, then I'm doomed. I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? Uh, when did you last hear? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. Uh, well, she's saying I think it? so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity was a secret. Was she even seeing me. a married man? Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually. And even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Yeah, father didn't uh, mention it. That any doesn't of this. surprise me. To him, it was like a prized cow wandering off from its paddock. He's upset, of course. But he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. I wonder if she was uh, with Horatius. I don't know. But it's been three weeks since she disappeared, and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us. Like cattle to be sold at market. His family you know, name is Sentius. Like so I'm Sentia because I'm oh, the I'm eldest. sorry, Rio. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor. But she is affectionately known as Sentilla. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll wait until, uh, until, until Rio's ads are done. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I apologize. We're gonna we're gonna wait. I'm supposed to get like a notification that that's happening, but I guess I'm not. Let me know when you're done, Rio. Oh, pet a kitty. I have to pet a kitty. I'm gonna go pet a kitty while Rio has an ad. <gasps> There's a kitty. There's a kitty behind Fringe. Hi, Fido. Okay. A kitty has been pet. A kitty has been pet. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. Um, I think you know something you're not telling me. Ugh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. Posture Okay. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there's that. I'll, I'll think about telling Essentius about that later.
What do we got? Mm. The bed. Ink jar. Ink appears made from soot and water. Okay. We polish from a rudimentary mirror which has been used for applying makeup. Rudimentary perfume made from flowers and oil. She kind of grew on me. Yeah, she she's... Powder for makeup. Not stealing any dinar. Nope, nope, nope. Not stealing. Not gonna steal. I'm gonna be good. Ooh, sim sim Today my father suggested I wrote a diary as a way of keeping myself occupied while I deal with the sudden dev devastating disappearance of my sister. As a dutiful dollar, daughter, I, of course I shall oblige. The following pages contain my innermost secrets. Next page. I know you're reading this, father. I may be young, but I do, but do not think me stupid. We're all entitled to our secret secrets, sent you. I like her. I, I like her. I actually do like her. Now. More than okay. This comes from Ares, Greek god of war, known as the Romans as Mars. Okay, so more flowers. Okay, revile, bust. Okay, so there's nothing here. And then we have the kitchen. Stove. Not that unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilation, but Romans probably regard that as their servant's problem. Pretty much. Produce. More purple. Four purple carrots. Okay. It kind of creeps me out that the statues whisper to me. You know? Also that they look at me. Still not cool with the whole, you know, statues looking at me thing. Uh, I'm gonna not- I'm not gonna- Citizen. Citizen. Hey, dude. What's going on? What up, dude? Hello. What were you two talking about? Uh, what? Don't play dumb. I saw you. Having a shady little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. If he's making a last ditch effort to pick up votes by talking to a woman, he's even more senile than I thought. Everyone knows women can't vote. Uh, we weren't talking about what the election. What else would you be murmuring about on election day? Mark my words, Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. And if I tell him you signed you love that it. feeble old husband, <laughs> that you've been trying to undermine his hard-won victory, you'll have picked the wrong patron. Got it? I love it, I do. I don't care about the Good. election. Then stay out of it. Nobody likes Caput Murday foreigners interfering in an election. Fine, mind if I ask you some questions? Eh, uh, can't hurt. What's your story, My man? My name's Domitius. You want to get to Maliolus, you go through me. I'd like to meet Maliolus. Too bad. He's busy. Unless... No. You don't look like you could afford it. Afford a bribe, I'm sure. I'm glad you asked. See, he's a busy man, and this is an important day. He'll be inside, practicing his victory speech for tonight. Left me strict instructions he doesn't want to be disturbed. So if you want to see him, I'll need something valuable in return. Ah, uh, isn't something... Bribe? That's such an ugly word. Uh, what I'm looking for is more of a, a tribute to me, your soon-to-be patron. Uh, what do you want? I don't know. Something good. Just make it good. 
Okay, do you know a way out of here? When Maliolus wins the election, yeah? This place will change. You won't even want to leave. Uh, You'll see. What do you think with the gold? I though? think it's gone on long enough. And Maliolus is going to put an end to it once he's elected. Uh, how's he going to do that? He's going to announce it in his victory speech. Just you wait and see. Uh, I can't just if now. I tell you and it gets that, it'll give old man Sentius a chance to interfere in our plans. And we can't have that. That's old fair. man Sentius got you already, did he? Well, I'm not talking to people in his faction. Confortuere. Confortuere. What do we have? Sentius and Maliola, same etrement, different smell. Ah! <laughs> ah! Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Can I talk? Hello. Oh, Sinculio Mio. Okay. Okay. That probably means get out of my face. Hey, deputy. Yes, I can hear you. We got each jar. Okay, do I need a jar? I'm being very serious today, deputy. That's uh, Equita's chest. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <sighs> Thank you for the. Uh, it was at this moment he knew. <laughs> Zalion. <gasps> Alright, so I don't particularly like the new uh, magistrate. Not to Octavia. An anonymous friend to Octavia. May the Lord bless May the Lord bless and kill. Oh, we have a Christian on our hands. I'm sorry I could not risk discussing this with you in person, but if I'm right, then you're a believer like me. You may not be able to worship openly here. But know that you're not alone. If you ever feel like you need somewhere to pray, there's a special place waiting for you, deep in the caves behind the theater. Turn right at the first fork, and again at the second. So right, and then right. Okay. Okay then. Okay, so we have a, we have a secret Christian. There's your apples, Iren. Some lettuce. All right. Uh, where's Octavia? All right. Where's Octavia? Yes. <laughs> a new face. Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Uh, what's your story? Oh my. I take it people are quite direct where you're from. Yes, yes they are. it's quite charming in its own way. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal Oh, she's a Vestal Priest? Oh, okay. Courtesy, ask, what is your story? Uh, sorry. I, what should I have done? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high office, by which time you would already know how to address me. And then you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity rather more indirectly. <laughs> yes! But to be honest, I've she's a very say so. She's she way is. to communicate that is. So, let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing change. Yes. How did you end up here? You know, I'm not entirely sure. But what about you? How did you end up here? Young woman named Karen dragged me out of the river, unconscious, and she sent me in here. Karen, you say? And nothing about that name seemed... odd to you. It carries negative connotations. It is an older name, but not older. uncommon. I see. Hmm. I wonder if... No. What are you going to say? I apologize. 
I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just that you've got me thinking. Have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? I really think you should. Go around and ask them what they remember and see if you notice any patterns. Um, I'll do that. Good. Thank you. But please be careful. I just don't want to see what happened to Livia happen to you too. Uh, what happened to Livia? Up until a few weeks ago, she was a perfectly productive member of our little community, darning clothes and cutting hair. She was always so chatty, always seeking out newcomers and asking them where they were from and how yeah. they ended up here. And then, about a month ago, she suddenly changed. She withdrew, stopped working and became despondent, started muttering to herself. Galerius and I visited her to see how we could help. But she just looked at us with this haunted stare, called us bloodless shadows, and told us we were ignorant of some pattern. Interesting. Look, it could be unrelated. Perhaps she simply fell ill. Or, as Galerius suggested, the weight of the golden rule was too much for her. But there is a small chance that she learned something, saw a pattern nobody else saw, and that it broke her. I just don't want yeah, to see that happen to that's, you. Uh, yeah. So be careful, will you? I'll be careful. Now, go and follow the thread of truth through this labyrinth and come back to me if you discover any patterns. Any patterns. I'll, uh... See what I can do. Do you know the way I out of here? I don't, I'm afraid. It seems to me we're exiled here until the gods judge us. One way or another. Uh, what do you think about the golden I'm rule? I'm quite sure it's the work the of the pattern gods. called you here, Heather. It's strange because we've uh. never been particularly concerned with our misdeeds, as long as we've kept the peace of the gods. We ask for blessings, for good health, bountiful harvest, military victory, and in return, we offer praise, wine, incense, or animals. But here, it seems they require much more of us. I find myself reminded of an especially pertinent tale from our great poet Ovid in his epic Metamorphoses. Would you like to hear it? It is rather long. Is there a short version? Because I, I don't... It is long, and I kind of know that tale, and I don't particularly need... You know what? Let's have some fun. Wonderful. It goes <laughs> like this. Baucis and Philemon were an old married couple living a humble life in a small town. One night... The town gets a visit for a juvenile. Vagrants. They go from door to door, asking for a place to stay the night. Of course, being vagrants, they're turned away sharply from house after house, a thousand in all, until finally they come to the little cottage where Baucis and Philemon live. Now the kind old couple had very little to offer, but nevertheless, they invite these strangers into their house and offer them food, wine, and a place to stay. Immediately, the guests make themselves at home. They begin gulping down the old couple's wine, so much so that Baucis, the old lady, begins to worry they're going to run out. And then she notices something strange. Her wine pitcher keeps refilling itself, as if by magic, mm. realizing only a select few possess such That powers, would be a... Says to her husband, Philemon, These men are gods. These men are gods in disguise. Immediately, the couple begins apologizing for offering such coarse wine. And the Bridge would like a refilling wine pitcher. And reveal themselves to be Jupiter, the king of the gods, and Mercury, the trickster god. They confide they didn't mind the meager offerings. They were just <laughs> pleased that someone in the town offered them hospitality. Then Jupiter says to them, You have passed our test, but everyone else in this city failed. So we are going to destroy this place and everyone in it. Except you, who we will grant a wish. So old Baucis and Philemon escape up into the mountains safely, and they receive their wish, which is for eternity together. I don't know if that's a wish or a Jupiter curse. Jupiter carries through with his threat and wipes that city off the map. Some say the moral of that story is that we must all honor the sacred rituals of guest friendship, the reciprocal obligations owed between hosts and guests. But I like to think it's that we should always show compassion for those less fortunate than ourselves. 
<laughs> or perhaps else the gods might kill you at any moment for failing their tests and they don't even tell you what the rules are. I kind of like that. A cynic philosopher might take that view, but it's not entirely invalid, I suppose. Uh, what's the status it of the election? It be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Why do you ask? Uh, who's all of it? the male citizens who are willing and able to attend, unless they're running, of course. The women can't? Hmm. That's just the way it's always been, I'm afraid. It never sat right with me, either. There are some women who can vote, vestal priestesses like myself. But in this case, given my role overseeing the election, I In more ways to... than one. I can't allow the perception that I'm being anything but fair and independent. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Such as? By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, of course. Oh, you're a Vestal Priestess. Priestess, of course. You can't use those gifts. What's your role? I'm responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. Can I nominate you another can, candidate? Assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. Uh, can we start? As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk. But I suppose I could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. Not yet. As you wish. No. Certainly. I've been asking. Did you notice anything? Oh, I haven't been asking anything yet. Nothing really. Oh, well then. Keep asking people how they wound up here. I don't want us to rush to any conclusions yet. Livia's fate weighs heavily on my mind, and dictates we should be sure. Yes, you should ask the others. First. Now the question. Now the thing is, though. Come back to me once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our <sighs> Do, neighbors. Does time? pass normally or does time only pass like when i say it passes you know <gasps> they are they are whispering to me the door okay that door just goes outside are whispering to me ma'am this uh this stairway needs a railing it is not safe i'm gonna get osha on you see these these are good your statue your, sta your, your staircase needs that nope not gonna steal not stealing stealing is bad minerva that is a strategy Anything interesting about Minerva's statue? Nope. Okay. Leave it. Okay. Well. Alright. I've talked to her. Ah! Oh, he looked. Plot twist parkour is a sin. <laughs> Truth. So we have the dying gasped. We have the locked villa. Let's put you on. Ah, so these are so common thread. Where did I put that one? We're I want to talk to people. Parkour is a sin. Parkour is always Ave. a sin. Ave. Ah, you've returned. Do you have any news about your investigation? I was hoping to, uh... Da, 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 da. What's your story? Sextus Sentius Imperiosus is my name. Imperiosus! Though magistrate is the proper way to address me. Before I wound up here, I was a decurion in the cavalry of Imperial Rome. Helping protect civilization from the barbarians. Like fringes people. It's a cavalry officer. I had 30 men under my command. 
This was my uniform. And Iren's people. As magistrate, I usually wear a toga. But today, I may need to survive long enough to create the portal for you. So we're differently civilized. Cool. I don't know if there's much, uh, Fringe, I, I don't know if there's, there's, uh, a lot, um, a, a lot of civilization in those that paint themselves blue and go running naked at people with war axes. My men and I were at the Emporium in Rome as honor guard for a visiting dignitary arriving upriver by barge. Now the port is usually bustling, but just as our guests arrived, waves of people began running toward the river from streets and alleyways in every direction. They were trying to escape a terrible fire. Unfortunately, the crowd sent my horse into a panic, and I remember it losing its footing by the water's edge. The next thing I knew, I was waking up on a riverbank not far from here in the company of some uh -huh. stranger. I went looking for my horse and discovered that lonely temple. You can probably figure out the rest. Everybody came in with a river. I was elected seven months ago, uncontested because of my command experience. Since then, there's been growing agitation for another election. They're supposed to be annual, but I agreed to hold it sooner, hoping it would placate my constituents. Unfortunately, it just seems to have emboldened certain elements instead. Let's Very talk well. about somebody else. Oh, Ask them. No, that's all the questions. Good. Now, was there something else you Whatever. What about the horse? Is the horse okay? Thank you. I'll be waiting here for you. Yeah, I, I think the horse may not be okay. So he woke up in next to a river. Let's see, let's see if uh, his daughter will talk to me now. Oh, I can talk to him now. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Okay, thank you, Horatius. What now? What's your story? I'm a legionary of the first Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. Okay. How did you end up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. Oh, poor my boy. commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming. Okay, so it's always fire. Then some genetric future chill tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds down towards the river and then nothing blacked out and woke up near here no idea how i ended up floating so far down river but i'm fortunate to be alive i suppose not quite sure we're all alive ah don't be as seneca the younger said difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body that said centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than i'd care to admit He's one of the better commanders I've ever had. That's for sure. Good stoic. Ooh, a stoic! <laughs> treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than yeah. that. Person after Fringe's own heart, huh? I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept my situation. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. That's from Seneca the Younger, if you're interested. I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Okay, good. I have a, I have a citizen register. I just have each person they offer me an offer order. We have Aurelia. Claims no way out. Claudia. Uh, wife of Maliolus. 
Decius, Commodore, uh, he's in the forum. Domitus, Commodore, my life's guard, he likes to be in the slum. Lysilis, unable to work, slum, imprisoned in the warehouse. She's a patrician, she's a Vestal Priestess. He's so weirdly comforting. He really is. Fabia, she's a baker. Galerius, he's a farmer. Georgius is a clothes merchant. Hannibal is a foreigner. He's a slum, but he died in the cistern, question mark. Horatius, he's a guard. Kaba, she's a fisherman, and he has disappeared. Julia is a patrician. Uh, she's a debt bondsman. Okay. Livia was a hairdresser, now that she refuses to work. Okay, so Livia is the one that was like, I, uh, you know, she she's disassociating. Lucretia is a nurse. Maliolus is money lending. Oh, not to be trusted. Oh, God. Nevia is a physician. Uh, locked himself in the palace. Uh, Octavia is cleaning and gardening. Luthius is slumming, increasingly agitated. Sentia is a pupil, restricted to a villa for her safety. Centilla is missing. Sentius is magistrate. Debt bombs into Maliolus. Virgil is an architect. Okay. I'll take the item. Thank you. Of course. Uh, what do you well, think? Well, as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother in arms is planning a mutiny, well, you bloody well So many like names. Yeah, artists, well, you? I, I can keep it. I can keep the list on yourself. me, though is to stop bad things before they happen. Makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. Uh, where I'm from, that would be considered collective punishment, which is a war, war crime. crime. Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war, the law falls silent. I honestly kind of agree with that good perhaps we'll make a legionary out of you yet uh, let's talk about something if else you like not that it's any of your business but my loyalty is and always this guy is really business. well read unfortunately super super well read it's going to make any difference today see Domitius has been going around town shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies bribery and intimidation the man's a savage, but he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. Can I help? I appreciate the thought, but you're new here, and I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia. The already done. Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. Yeah, already done. Oh, figure out how to make Maliolus drop out of the election. Ooh. All right. Bye! Okay, so far we have two people who were going about their day and then got swept up in a tide of people fleeing a fire and then fell into a river and woke up here. Considering there were freaking pomegranates when I first woke up, I'm... Hey, Horatius, say lorem ipsum dolor sit amet, which pretty much is the this means nothing. <laughs> it's Sentia. You gonna talk to me again? Can you please talk to me? I wanna know how you got. Do I need to ask Horatius to escort you out of here? Get out, you horrid barbarian! Okay then! Okay, okay. 
I got you. It's cool. It's cool. I got you. So, uh, we've got two people who came here because of a fire causing people to panic and they got swept into a river. Now, since there were pomegranates when I first woke up, uh, it's a full of urine, which ancient Romans used because of ammonia coma to wash and bleach their clothes. Okay. Um, pomegranates are kind of the sign of Citizen. Hades. However, that is a more of a Greek myth and not a Roman one. I'm not quite sure what the Roman is, but the the Greek myth is that is how Persephone was bound to the underworld because Hades... Hades loved her, and uh, the, 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 the myths are wide and varied, but it's, it's, she either went willingly because she loved him, or not willingly, uh, but, are you going to talk to me? Yeah, yeah, you do. Um, but she, uh, she ate food while in the afterlife, while, while in in Hades, and um, specifically ate six pomegranate seeds. And that is why Persephone um, could not return 100% to the realm of the gods and to Olympus and even to the mortal world because she was bound for six months out of the year to spend time in Hades, which is why it gets cold first six months of the year because Persephone is the goddess of spring so um, when she has to spend her six months that's when we get fall and winter and then she comes back and we get spring and summer um, since there were pomegranates when I first opened my eyes I'm wondering if we're all dead like if everybody here is already dead. Lost, yes. Oh, okay, apparently I can't parkour there. Okay, he's he's pushing. <laughs> The Scandinavian Persephone ate 10 seeds. Irene, you are not... You're, you're really not helping, you know, me... Not, not, you know, with my convincing myself that I can live in Norway. That's... That's creepy. Why would you live in a house where there's, where there's a, a statue there? Of Apollo. Women of Greek God disease and healing. And also kind of a giant douchebag. Hey Lucretia. What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that cool as cubolates Decius won't give it to me. I'm sorry, I wish I could help. Okay, it's so it's too late. She just slipped away. Oh no. What happened? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of silphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Decius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friends like that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down Aww. here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her, or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule, or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Hmm. 
something I can do to help. Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that Silphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetic Fututo and I like how they get away out. with not cursing because they curse in Latin. Then you'd better get me that Silphium quickly, hadn't you? Okay, can 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 I talk to you though? Feeling all right? Uh, what's your story? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever Navia's since clinic. she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. You know, that first part, I'm totally with you. I am tired and out of my depth and miserable, miserable all the time. Yeah, I feel you, woman. I feel you. How did you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and And then the fires came. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke. And the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else. Yeah. And leapt in. Fire ran for the, the river. Thing I remember, wake up, wake I was waking yep. up on a river bank, not far from here. I'm uh, sorry to hear it's that. It's all right. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. And True. while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule. They have to try. Ah, the classic about. river. Uh, why are you working oh, at the shrine? This shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. True. So I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife. Not a physician, but she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day oh, you've she missed the, uh, the golden rule, deputy. Discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the That's last time okay. any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues. Oh, well, I, I can do it when, once uh, Lucretia stops And then stops she shut herself talking. in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long oh. now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, okay, because right that's the, the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem, a real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed, and he's in constant pain. Yeah, yeah, I feel you there. Okay, so Deputy, uh, so here's the story so far. We have woken up on the side of the river with Karen. Yes, that's her name, Karen. And uh, next to this, these ruins. And uh, she tells us that her friend, Al... Uh, who apparently was not really a friend, just another dude who just woke up in the river. Um, Al went in to explore the ruins, uh, did not come back. So sent us in there to figure out what the hell happened to Al. We go in, and as we're kind of slowly going through these ruins, um, there are golden statues everywhere. And they legitimately are whispering to us, and uh, when we're not looking, they turn their heads to look at us. It's very freaking creepy. Um, on the way, we come across a guy in modern clothing, a, a statue, a gold statue in modern clothing, who has hung himself. 
and there's a tablet that says, you know, it's out. And, um, and, uh, there's a portal that we, we can't go back. Like, we just, like, fell into a pool. And so we, we went through a portal, and we came here. And we're in the past now. Uh, we are in about, like, was it 65, uh, CE? And, um, basically there's 21 people here-ish. And it's known that if even one person sins, like, and there's, there's nobody, there's no rules to say what is and is not a sin. But if one person screws up in some way that offends the gods, everybody in the city gets turned to a golden statue. Everybody. If one person screws up. And so that's why they called it the golden rule. I really shouldn't see. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing yeah, his Yeah, damn, the you're right. Out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to Time treat Time to go sin. So, um... Basically, our job right now is to figure out, and and the 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 magistrate currently knows that somebody's about to break the rule and doom everybody, but he's not. Uh, people don't trust him as much because he's like in the position of power, so he can't like really talk to the citizens and be like, "Hey, you about to offend the gods?" So, um. I'm walking around and talking to people, and also uh, he's about to be replaced as magistrate by pretty much like a lone shark. Uh, basically, uh, he's kind of like the <laughs> damn time to go sin. Is that your standard greeting? <laughs> um, but uh, Maliolus is 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 pretty much like. The, the the ancient Roman mafia. He's he's a real sleaze ball, and it's he's pretty much going to get rid of the golden rule uh, once it becomes magistrate, and that already is going to doom everybody. But I think it's pretty much kind of unsaid that it's not just that that is going to do it. Like obviously somebody else may. So see what I can do. Thanks, I suppose. Figure out, a tre figure out a treatment for rheumatism. I wish some people here need proper medical care, not the half-baked, hanging-by-a-thread excuse for treatment I'm giving them. Just don't get sick or injured here. I'll do my best to treat you, but I'm out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. Uh, a city without sin might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia. But snakes like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what can we do about it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways, we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. Uh, I keep hearing the statues whispering. Is that normal? Oh, no. Sorry, I don't mean to worry you, but... No, that is definitely not normal. <laughs> there was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. But that was Nevia, and uh, she went a little mad. I... yeah? Yes. Yes, I can see that. Well, she used okay, to yeah, 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 yeah. She was um, until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One profound... day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time yeah, I you saw wouldn't her, survive five minutes living by the golden roll. Her saw her, she was muttering to the statues. Like she could talk to them. And Utopia, she that's a Latin term. The palace, barred the door from the inside. And nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only yeah, hope yeah, I yeah, have yeah. of one of my patients is suffering. Yeah, yeah, we got that. He's become so irritable that the I just yeah, yeah, know yeah. me. 
Thanks, I suppose. Okay. Can I talk? Sure. I what Yulia. do you want to know? Do you think do she you was... really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule. And so maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Do you know what poisoned her? Hemlock, I believe. Oh, Hemlock. Okay. I haven't seen her in months. She's not allowed to leave Maliolas's villa. And they are quite secretive. Uh, Gladly. Gladly. I'll be going well, now. Well, come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, Watch I'll do what I can. Okay. Thank you, Rio. Oh, you're dead. Alright. Ooh, medical tools. Barbaric looking medical implements including forceps and shears. Wooden rack containing various dried and ground substances. Mortar and pestle. <laughs> Mortar and pestle have not changed much in the last two millennia. This is true. Shrooms. May Apollo keep you safe. What bust is this? That's a uh, fire Minerva still. And that's Ares. Cheers. There's a locked chest, which I'm going to avoid. <laughs> Apples! Greetings and salutations. You are still dressed in your toga. Greetings and salutations. Greetings. I'm George. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together. What is Dark you? Ages Os? <laughs> and I must say, my sartorial friend. <laughs> no, it's even earlier than the Dark Ages. Leather boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise stitching, and such a curious design. I have traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India, and never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know. From which exotic part of the world do you hail? Uh, my nation doesn't exist yet. Is this a riddle, or perhaps you mean to say you feel like you are ahead of your time? I feel the same way. Another reason for us <gasps> to stick together. We will have much time here to get to know one another. But for now, do you require assistance? I know <gasps> you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? Information, yes, please. That is your story. My story? How kind of you to ask. I am a tailor and I run the humble shop in the forum. He's so happy. You mean to say, with all the turmoil and terror of the Golden Rule and so few customers, why bother setting shop at all? Yes, but it does seem kind of unnecessary. I tell you, it is precisely because of the Golden Rule that I wish to remind my friends of the importance of looking one's best. I say, the more of our customs we preserve down here, the more we can preserve a semblance of normality, the better our chances of keeping our head. Don't you agree? Uh, fair enough. How'd you end up here? A good question. A very good question indeed. And I would be happy to tell you if only I could remember it clearly myself. Uh, why don't you tell me what you do remember? Hmm. I remember I had just been to Rome to sell an extraordinary selection of wares, and droning in coin, I decided to celebrate my success. I rented a prestigious villa by the Tiber, invited over a few select friends, and we began making our way through some of the most exquisite wine money could buy. Quite a lot of it, in fact. Yeah? Now, yeah. I have had visions and awoken in strange places before. I have even found myself naked in the desert sands more than once, but none of that compares to this. And this then, time, fire! I remember people screaming, then falling into a void as empty as time before creation, gasping for air, and then nothing. When I regained my faculties, I was lying naked by the banks of the Tiber, gods know how many miles from my villa. So you loaded on the Tiber? Indeed. I'm lucky I was carrying a little extra weight. Exactly! <laughs> it kept me afloat. Yes! In any case, it seems I'd been rescued and resuscitated by a benevolent stranger. I went to find firewood for his campfire, 
his. Okay, so it's not always. Some people mentioned a stranger. Anything you like. Anything you like. Not so loud. What are you playing at? Sorry, 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 did I say that? Have one? you not been told about the last attempt? The last attempt? Oh, then I suppose this duty falls to me. Ah, it is a long story. Not as if I'm going anywhere. Aha, you are witty. I like that. <laughs> I course, like that. First question, any I of love us him. When we first arrive is, how do I escape? It is only natural after all. And scaling the chasm wall is out of the question, for it is simply too steep and too far. But as they say, if the wind fails, use the oars. And here the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the bathhouse. See, the shaft is quite high, but if one gathered up enough food, one could make a series of ladders and climb one's way out. This is true. Why hasn't anybody done that yet? They have. I am getting to that. There was an attempt made by resourceful fellows who lived here some years ago. Witty. They even decided <laughs> to keep records of their escape attempt for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard the godlike voice sink the entire city. And that, tragically, is where their tale ends. Really? So it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place. And so I say, it's best to not even discuss it aloud. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Ah, yes. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. As a Greek, this is nothing new to me. It is how our gods operate. <laughs> you can't go there. Pretty much. Why do you say that? Have you not heard the tale of the god Hades? He was the first to learn there this beautiful lesson when he abducted Persephone and imprisoned her in the underworld. When Demeter, the mother of Persephone, learned of this, she did not punish Hades, the guilty one. Instead, she changed the climate of Earth, so that it became hot and dry. Nothing grew. The grain turned to empty husks, and the rivers dried up. Innocent people died by the tens of thousands, until at last the other gods were forced to act, lest they have no worshippers left. So yes, we know this rule. This has always been the case. The golden rule has merely brought it in. Not the water. <laughs> See, that is how the Greek gods did did uh did work. I mean, the best way to describe the Greek gods is all of them are assholes. All of them. Every single one of them. Doesn't matter if they seem nice, they're all assholes because they No. <laughs> no! Uh they uh they don't care for mortals at all. So yeah, a god going after another god? Nah, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna we're just gonna punish the mortals until all the other gods lose worshippers, and then that'll make them care enough. If we are to survive, I say we must each keep the simple wisdom of Thales of Miletus, first of the seven sages of Greece, who said, "Avoid doing what you would blame others for doing." That's easier said than done. Regrettably, I think you are correct, my friend. For even if 99% of us adopt this principle, that will never be enough. Sadly, no matter how well we protect yeah, ourselves, it worked, but the there were other ways, you know? People can be undone in the blink of an eye by a single selfish act. I know. I've seen it happen. Ah, uh, the voice of experience. I am sorry for your loss, my friend. But on a lighter note, I will say one thing for the golden rule. For all their grim and haunting poses, these golden statues do make magnificent models for my clothing. Do they not? Oh! Uh, you stay away from that empty shrine. It's going to collapse at any moment. Interesting. That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleolus. I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Yeah, Nothing just... comes to my mind, my friend. I'll be going I now. hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. So yeah, they're intimidating. 
It would, the, 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 not the statue would collapse any moment, but like the temple, though the shrine would collapse at any moment. Oh, that's creepy. Hi, guys. He just kind of brought them all here. Dude, your neck looks pretty bad. Just, the statue's moving. The statue's moving or getting me every time. Do not like this. Only if you're embodying gold. Yeah. Well, we brought a construction crane. Pretty much. Froggy. I hear Froggy. I would love to. <gasps> oh, she bowed her head. Oh God! The the uh! Froggy. We have a miller. No, it's we have a blacksmith. It's a blacksmith, looks like. Or a carpenter. Fire ash bronze. It smells like ash. Bellows. Fire is used for blowing air into the furnace and help raise the heat. That's an anvil, yes. Oh, odd without a horn, but that's being be a more modern innovation. Uh, the ladders. Ooh, accusatory note. I want to... Don't want to steal anything. I want to... Why can I not... <laughs> I have so many leads! No! The many Great. shall suffer. What? For the sins of the one. Okay, we're going back. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I gotta start all over. Friend? Yeah, I'm Heather. We've uh, had this conversation before. I don't. It was Galerius. No problem. I have to oh, go. And since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much for the raid. It's a zip line. <laughs> Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang onto the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. Welcome, welcome. And if it doesn't work, worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. <gasps> Thanks, I'll be going now. Alright, see you around. Okay, uh, yeah, we're, we're not gonna do that again. 
Uh, inventory. Uh, yeah. Do have a, a zip line? Yes, yeah, nice job messing it up. Um, okay. Nope. And I died. <laughs> I hate you. Continuing from the last save. Oh god, I'm going to have to do this. Oh no. Okay, well, let me set a timer. Timer for five minutes start. <sighs> I'll do this again. Yes, we've had uh, this conversation before. Uh, oh. Yes, gotta, gotta go. That's cool. That's cool. Yes, I will take. And if it don't, but don't. Thanks, I'll be right. going now. Why do you all hate me? Ride the zipline! That was fun! Okay. Where are we going now? I guess I should, uh, can. Whoa! Whoa! Yes, I totally upped the cooldown to an hour! Who are you? Isn't the great temple majestic? I've already talked to you. A new fate. Are they? And my I'll be going. I don't want to talk to you right now. I want to go back and talk to the people who hate me in my past life. <coughs> You know, I run was talking that this time my voice will not die because this, um, this game is actually voiced. He watches through their eyes. And since, um, si since uh, that's voiced, I don't have to do the voices, but I've totally forgotten that I did this. I'm going to have some water now. I hate you, Snowy. I love you, but I hate you. Because it's not worth it if it's not five minutes. Just kind of want to sing Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Baby Shark. How's it feel knowing your man's doomed to lose the election today? I will talk to you. You're trying to goad me into an argument. It won't work. I'm a stoic, remember? If the old man couldn't even keep his own daughter safe, how can anyone trust him to keep us safe, eh? This is Irene's favorite accent. Something to do with Centella's disappearance. That's it. Blame everyone but yourself. If I find out you did something to that poor sweet girl, not even the Golden Moon is gonna protect you. You got it? Ha! <laughs> As if I'll be afraid of you, little man. Thing is, did you notice when I died? All of the people who were trying to kill me were archers. I can now talk to you. Maliolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment. It being I election know. day. Uh what the is name's your Demetrius. story? You wanna to get to Maliolus? You go through me. Why are you dressed like a gladiator? Why? Because I am a gladiator. That's why. Well, that's probably true. Fair enough. What? The name's Demetrius. Yeah, okay, okay. So you're not you want to get to Meliolus, me. you go through me. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah. I. <laughs> I'm dying, I am. <laughs> Too bad. He's been. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afford what? Oh, um. Uh, I'll find another way in. I'll see what Just I can Just make it good. Uh, who are you gonna vote for? Mariolis, of course. I'll be going now. Whatever. Okay, you'll at least still talk. Okay, I hydrate, hydrate. Thank you so much, Rio. And posture check. All right, getting up. Do y'all like the new icon I have for my uh, for my channel points instead of just a little circle? Hey, Socratic, how are you doing? See, I'm I'm playing something you can actually watch this time. Okay, I've talked with you. I've talked with you. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. I really like him. Yeah, you wanna see something creepy? Oh, you finished it! How 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 much did you cry? How 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 much did you cry? And are you going to do um Will of the Wisps? Yeah, watch this. I'm like, oh look. He listens with their ears. But yeah, then I go, I'm gonna go over here now. Like, oh, he listens with their ears. And now she's looking at me! Five, you did better than me. You did better than me, most definitely. Uh, I did, uh... I, I had 743. It was so sad! Yes! I know, oh god, when you saw Ku- when you saw Ku- uh... Uh... Kur Kuro's backstory. Oh my god, Kuro's backstory where her babies are dying. <laughs> Whatever are you wearing? <laughs> oh, I had to go immediately I too. Wish Horatius would stop letting- uh, what do you think about the you know, girl? some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. But Socratic, that kind honestly, of an awful, incompetent god who um, let my sister go missing on his. I would play it. Watch. I honestly, I, I had seven hundred and forty-three deaths in Blind Forest. I had a hundred and eighteen in Will of the Wisps, and Will of the Wisps, I honestly think is better. It really is, and it's amazing, but oh my god, did we cry. We cried so much. Fair question. Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No uh, response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. Well, at least we know the Watchmen doesn't. Telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be a. I guarantee you, they're not Either because I just or, died. Like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable. My father is. No, no, it's not. I, I, I guarantee you, it's not. <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely well, real. And I suppose I'll just have to take the word of a know-nothing barbarian. Yes. Who just arrived. Will yes. I? <laughs> yes. You should. What's your story? Incentia, eldest yeah, yeah. Of what are you? I'm not from really? around here. Now remind me, why we have Okay, so you're not gonna tell I me. Trust you're not gonna tell me. Yeah, is he you know, you start off like not liking Gomu, and now it's like he's he's you know, he br he brought back Naru. And you feel so bad for him, and he lost his people. I'm gonna see... How do I... Do I sprint, jump, crouch, use, interact, no. Cancel navigation, subscribe, zoom, weapon primer, secondary journal, and inventory. I want to be able to... 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 to What exactly is going on in this game? Philosophy. Yes, exactly. It, it's a lot of philosophy. Okay, so. Okay. We're going to do... We're going to do a real quick, real quick summary. I wake up on the side of a river next to Karen. Yes, her name is Karen. Uh, says that her friend Al... Uh, disappeared into these ruins 
And could I go look for him? Time to find out. Al really, really isn't exactly a friend. Ral, Ral is just another dude that woke up on a river, on the side of the river. Uh, so you go in. There's a ton of golden statues. Um, and they all whisper at you and keep turning their heads at you. And you you actually do find Al, and he has hung himself, and he actually is also a golden statue. And basically says, whatever you do, go, don't go through the portal. It's it, it's better just to kill yourself. And you go through a portal, and you are transported to 65 CE. And we are here, where there's a small community of people that have all been brought here somehow. And uh, if any one of them sins, and we don't know exactly what uh, a sin is... Uh, we don't know exactly what a sin is, but if anybody sins, um, everybody gets turned to a golden statue. Yeah. So... If, so the sin of one affects the many. And that's what all these golden statues are. And uh, we know that... Uh, so there's a, a magistrate who is the current magistrate. And uh, he's been enforcing like Roman law very, uh, very strictly. People are kind of getting upset at this. So there's another election happening, and what it looks to be uh, pretty much a slime ball is going to take his his place because uh, Centella, would you? doing the dude doing push-ups down there is kind of his thug, and basically keeps uh, threatening people to beat him up, be beat them up if they don't vote for Maliolus, who is I guess up there. And uh, yeah, so my job is to uh, look around. Um, the magistrate knows that somebody is going to break a law, and, uh, it's my job to try and find out who. And, uh, if I break a law, um, like I accidentally stole something, uh, all of a sudden everything goes monochrome except for these archer statues, and they try and kill me, and I have to run back to the portal, and I start all over. And also, the statues are, are real creepy. Because if you notice, you know, if you notice, this, the heads are moving. Um, this actually was apparently originally a Skyrim mod. Are they? I've talked with her already. Who are you? I haven't talked with you yet. Name's Rufius. Rufius! Better watch your step. Better watch your step. What is your story? Can't talk long. Got to stay sharp, but... Uh, family's from Seleucia on Tibius. Babylon province. But I've been Roman a long time now. Even joined the legions. The sixth. The one they call Ironclads. How did you end up here? Same way as everyone else. Uh, thanks. Because we're all in great danger. Is it not obvious? Drawing your Greek. <laughs> you spent the last hour drawing Greek columns and a, and a pediment for your Twitch page for the About Me and Game stream. Ha! <laughs> yeah, can't talk much, but here is my life story. Yeah! Why don't you have a weapon? Mm, the magistrate made me toss it in the chasm. Stupid. Going to have to improvise now. He has pretty eyes. If you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be either. Are you suffering from rheumatism? Nobody is supposed to know about that. Did Lucretia tell you? Ah. Gah. Look, I haven't been at my best lately. Dude, I get you. All Getting old sucks. I know. Instantly, and, and the pain. It has a way of messing with your head. This is true. It, it does. Stirred up by things that shouldn't bother me. And then there's the statue. <laughs> I feel you, bro. I feel you. Doubts about my faith. And I just... I just want to scream. Want to help me? Do what Lucretia hasn't been able to do, and find me something. Make the pain go away. 
Got any uh, willow trees down okay. here? Get that. Scream in a pillow. <laughs> um. Got any willow trees? I can help you if you've got willow trees. I believe yeah, that was the. Where have I been here? Oh, locked. Okay, no going there. That's the. That's the. That's her. Uh, that's him. Did I actually successfully steal? I did successfully steal the Denari. <laughs> good for the good for the soul, bad for your voice. Ooh, ooh, who are you? Who are you? Uh, translate. Sinner. Ooh, interesting. Who are you? Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. Humanity. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, oh. so you can just call me Virgil. Virgil! What is your story, Virgil? Well, I'm an architect. Well! Or at least I was I back was. in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. But you probably don't want to hear about Are you the German? genius architecture or mysterious history of this what place. What is this accent? It sounds like a weird cross between German and Russian. Or maybe like Serbian? Polish? I don't know. I don't know the city's history. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Some of these shrines were constructed hundreds of years ago, which means Romans have been arriving here for at least that long. But there's one thing that puzzles me. The oldest shrine in this avenue isn't Roman at all. It's, it's Greek. Greek. Uh, isn't common to Romans copy Greek art and well, yes, that could be the reason. Or it could mean that there were Greeks living and worshipping here before the Romans arrived. Which begs the interesting question, who really built this place? And could it be far older than Yeah, any yeah, of us most imagined? likely it is far older if than anybody ever imagined. Play, we could talk to the people who came here before us. The stories they could tell. Gladly. Personally, my favorite thing about this place is the aqueducts. Those series of adjoining arches. They're an ingenious feat of Roman engineering, with a very practical purpose. They take fresh water coming from outside the city and distribute it the all across the chasm. It's it sounds like he's German. And into a cistern beneath the great temple. Some of it flows down into another cistern beneath the villas, and the rest is funneled to the shrine of Proserpina, where it fills the lake, and allows us to fish and farm. But not quite. Hey, not so loud. Just talking about that could anger the gods for all we know. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you'd have to find a way inside somehow. Just please try to be a bit more discreet about it. Oh, okay. What the you mean the great temple? The great this temple? A bit of a mystery. Given the way it's positioned so prominently, looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in the city. Unfortunately, someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina or Diana or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. But in this case, it's Interior a architect school board. <laughs> out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god, but it appears some barbarian defaced it. Barbarian. Of course, we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the temple of Saturn in Rome, and that contains the treasury. So we're is all your name originally Herman? Which god is that temple dedicated to? And could it be the one responsible for the golden rule? Unless somebody figures out a way inside. That is, a, that is kind of an inside joke between Fringe and I. Know. So, 
Fringe had a, um, a history teacher who once uh, made a, kind of a joke. Because if you notice, the, the, the English word for um, the country and the people of German, Germany, um, is a lot different than many other languages. Uh, you know, it's its own language is Deutsch and Deutschland. And then, you know, in Spanish, it's Aleman and things like that. But why is it German in uh, the row in, in, in some of the Romantic languages? Oh, uh, yeah, it, it, it just clang. So that so uh, fringes his fringes, a uh, history teacher made his joke that his, his personal theory is that uh, some Romans, while they were conquering their way through Europe, came across, you know, one of the nomadic tribes in the area that is now Germany. And, you know, some bureaucrat, you know, said, who are you? You know, meaning, you know, who are your people? You know, you are a new people. What do you call yourselves? And the man uh, misunderstood him and just went, I am Herman. And, and so they became the Hermans, which then went the Germans. So that's the joke. So that's why I, he was like, is, is your name Herman? Of course. Of course. You wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live out your days. You might have a few sleepless nights. A few nights sleepless nights, just a few. Thinking about you may just wake up and be to turned fear. to gold Knowing statue. A single slip up could cost you everything. It's not too bad. Nothing new to me, anyway. Really? What do you mean? Oh, I just mean I grew up in the Batavi tribe. Far to the north in Novio Magus, and learned to expect a bit of hostility. Is he an ancient Scandinavian? The Romans. He's Dutch. He is. I was gonna say, like, yeah, he wasn't quite German. I was like, I think I know that that accent. Yes, he's he he's he, he's Lucky's ancestor. Some people say it's divine. The work of a god. But I'm not so sure. It just seems so flawed to me. Like it's this thing. Yeah, except the Greek and the Roman I mean, gods weren't exactly all knowing enough, and all caring wonderful things, things. That just seems so wrong to you. But this so called god doesn't seem to be a pretty care, terrible dodge. One of two things. Is a it really is. Difference between right and wrong. <laughs> or this unknown god doesn't. And I'm pretty sure I know well, the difference. Well, Psalm would, would know it. Psalm, Psalm, Psalm lives in, in, in the Netherlands. I think so. Good. Then I hope you'll agree that there are only two ways of dealing it's with It's like a weird us. cross between the Dutch and leave. German and the second a little bit of Russian. Remove the ruler from power. And it seems leaving may not be an option. How do you remove a god Good from power? Question. It's best if I say no more, but I hope you'll give it some thought. Why does one think Look, you're a sinner? I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my ah! preference for male company. You like men? Oh, he looks so sad. It's okay, honey. It's okay. It's okay if you just you love who you want to love. Hey, nothing gets by you, huh? Sorry, that was mean. Y yes, I like men. And when you grow up in the north, as I did, in the city of Novio Magus, you expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not known for their tolerance. I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hid who I was for what was it? Nearly ten years. Watching what I said and where I looked, but Aww. that kind of fear eats away at you slowly until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world with an assumed name, my openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. Yeah, the didn't suddenly had a very uh, American accent. I'm really sorry. Nice of you to say, but not necessary. In any case, the Romans are far more accepting, and among them, I get to be who I am. Or at least, I thought that was the case. 
It seems I was wrong. Aww. Uh, it's not just graffiti. I have quite the collection of handwritten notes <laughs> too. The Share it, Tech. I keep Share it. Personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset this person. You if don't. I to guess, I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. <gasps> the Christians. Is it is is it like? Do you have like two hundred deaths or something, Tech? Say it. Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. I know I'm horrible at Ori, so j Dear God, boy! <sighs> well, I'm happy for you. I suck. But I'm happy for you. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Played any platform before this, and I played barely any games, so I expect it to be much worse. That's really cool, yeah. <sighs> I was gonna say something about Virgil, about uh, about you know I don't know what I I don't know what he what I did to offend this guy. Well, <laughs> yeah, if you uh, it, uh, uh do, do you it, it's from um, Ryan George, and his uh, pitch meetings. So I have the wow 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 wow, and I also have uh. Like his super easy, barely an inconvenience. And then, oh, whoops, whoopsie. I have those. But no, I was gonna say, he, uh, Virgil here didn't know what he did to upset people. I'm just like, you know what? If it's from, you know, the, there, there, there are a few Christians down here and uh, pretty sure that you just, you just need to exist as being a gay man to piss them off. Strange bunch. They insist yep, there's only the Christians. one God, and that he considers my nature a sin. Can you believe that? If there are any of oh, whoops, whoops, hey. admit, <laughs> Not since they supposedly burnt down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. All I know oh, is whoops, if these whoops, threats hey. keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. Um, I'll look into what? it for you. Really? I... I didn't expect that. But thanks. It's always a pleasure to meet someone so selfless. I'm glad you arrived when you did. I'd start by figuring out who the cultists are. Or maybe ask around among the merchants here. Someone who lives or works in the forum must have seen something. But if you find them, please don't hurt or humiliate them. I suspect they're just Aww, confused. Aww, he's so, he's so nice. Let's see what I can do. Well, Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. They can do to change that. My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. No, not at all. Nice to talk to you. So, I need... Uh, Desius to Sandal Sylphanum. How to get into Maliolus. Uh, need some dig up some dirt on Maliolus. Get the... Uh, there's my thorn in the paw. How to get into the upper cistern. Stop Virgil's horizon and figure it out. So he's a Trump supporter. <sighs> there's... I need to go back... I'm gonna go back because I need to figure out who the Christians were. Hey guys, it's Horatius and Equita. The priestess. Okay. Save. You gonna talk to me? No. Okay. There was a note. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna read. No to Octavius. So Octavia is I have Octavia is a Christian. That's one of them. But if you noticed, I also 
kept the denarii that I've that I got. So yeah, I have that. Is anybody upstairs this time? No, nope, okay. I have to Anybody in here? Anybody? Anybody? That's gonna go outside. Okay. No, reading others' notes and diaries is not a sin. Isn't Fear the great is proof temple of majestic. a degenerate mind. Okay. Keeping an eye on things, Horatius? As always, princess. Information wants to be free! <laughs> You guys are the same. Do we, do we have like twins? So that's kind of a weird alleyway looking thing. Okay, we got gotta gotta look gotta look through the weird alleyway. Oh. And turning, and now she's about to look up at us. Wait, there's a graffiti here. Ah, oh, there it is. The psycho pomp deceives us all. No peeking. Your neck is like broken, woman. Oh! That apparently was not stealing. What do we have? Okay, we have a sauna. Hey! Oh, it's a toilet. <laughs> All supposed to be designed for use with a sponge on a stick. Oh man, somebody died while taking a poop? That's just a very ignoble death. Sponge stick. This attacks. This was where the ro unhygienic. I just got a uh, an achievement for unhygienic. The Romans used that toilet was for oh for communal use. Ah, no, no, bad, bad. Translate. Always remember they're watching. Yes. When uh, going in the toilets. This is true. No, I'm not going to use the sponge stick. Thank you very much. I, I don't need the sponge stick. Ugh. Okay, so I found the toilets. Oh, more denarii? Do I get, do I get, can I steal? I cannot steal. Like, you know, it's like, I'm, I'll, I'm gonna, so that was that, that's where I was there. That's a fun thing to write on a bathroom wall. <laughs> you know, you're right. They're always watching. Always watching. Uh, what do we got? Have kind of a broken temple. No! Are you gonna kill me? Oh, you... <sighs> I did die. Oh, I saw- Oh, it's all the way back here. Dead, Bnui. You're right. Whoops! Whoopsie. Isn't on your best behavior, I trust. On things, Horatius? Yes. As always, priestess. Any news about Sentia, Nadia, or Kavad? Okay, I think I need to retalk to him. Hey, Virgil. Any news about? Oh, no, okay, good. Okay. Oh, is that so? Nice to talk to. Okay, good. I don't. I. I didn't go too far back. Okay, now, okay, you're right. I do have to, I, I can, uh, I can, um, put my, uh, channel points, uh, delay a little bit, uh, less now, because, uh, since I, since I put baby shark and all the things for, a, for 10,000 bits, <laughs> there, now, now, uh, three, oh, there we go. Uh, now that, uh, now it's no longer a 10 minute cooldown, so you, you, you can do whoops and whoopsie again. But hey, since I stole 
<sighs> nope, 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 nope. Not taking... Yeah, that's the toilets. Ah, oh, that's probably the, uh... That's probably the temple that they were warning was going to come down. Help! You have to do something! Who are you? A man arrived in the baths. A real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's gonna break the golden rule. <gasps> Uh, who are you? Fabia, but now's not the time. Are you going to help or not? How is this my problem? I'll get right on it. Thank you. He's still in there, somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. Uh, don't go in there! What? Why? Just, just trust me. <sighs> All right, um, fine. Come and find me in my bakery instead. Please be careful. Okay. I saved. Okay, so he's in the baths, huh? Seeing if there's... What up, dude? Last little exam after finishing question around, they asked if I had something I wanted to add, and I thought for a bit I said, Oh, yeah. They had, they had toilet buildings where they went to the toilets and benches in the same room. They were very impressed, I'm sure. Ooh. She will guide you. She will guide you. What? Oh, we have a archer. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? I... Oh, God, that's gonna kill him. Oh! Okay, so if I lie and I get him killed, does that break the golden rule? But if I, but if I kill him, I also sin. Well, I did just save, so uh, let's find out. Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. I'm gonna be careful and I'm gonna basically almost like make my way to uh I'm gonna run my butt back here yeah the music has changed Okay, that fell. <gasps> okay, that worked. That that worked. Emperor Nerus ordered the execute of a cultist named Quinticus with a different colored eyes. All loyal sons of Rome were ordered to hunt and execute the arsonist and murderer, Tiberius Quinticus Crispus, a citizen from the Aventine district of Rome. But 40 to 50 years old, he has average height, average build, dark hair, has one green eye and one blue eye. He is a known associate of cultists and suffers from delusions of grandeur. Okay. Take us out, take us to Okay. Uh, 
Okay then. Well, I got him. Who are you? You there. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice that fine bow you're carrying. No idea how you managed to get your hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate's ban, but I'm impressed. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. But I would like to propose a joint business venture. Yeah, you're so. just, you're a douchebag. Go on, though. Tell me, do you have any idea how people here end up as golden statues? Statues come to life in Paragon. And here I was thinking I was the only one to figure it out. In any case, supposedly one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full-grown man into gold. No. Now, of course, that is a travesty. A terrible, horrible waste of human life, which has to be stopped. And yet, on the other hand, no. I can't help but think of a tale told by that Greek fella, Aesop. The goose that laid the golden egg. No, With no, no, Decius. Organic matter into gold. One could create infinite wealth. Use your imagination. Golden animals, insects, trees, and plants. The Midas touch without the drawbacks. We are talking riches beyond imagining. And even if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, half of infinite wealth is still infinite. Interested? No, not at all. The Golden Goose is meant to be a cautionary tale. I might tale. have skimmed over that one, but don't be so pedantic. Are you interested or not? That was grossly oh, unethical. I'm not suggesting we use such a bow on people. There's no profit in breaking the Golden Rule. <laughs> it's looting, which is a gamer move, and the god approves of gamer moves. No, he doesn't. No, no, this god doesn't. Because I looted some denarii, and it nearly caused me to die. Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our hands on one of those <laughs> You come back bow? and see Marco and now, Aros. I have a plan. But first... Way sorry, less eyeliner. Are you familiar Way less with eyeliner. the story of the goddess Diana? Uh, not really. Tell me about her. I'm gonna need more water. No problem. Allow me to explain. Diana is our goddess of the hunt, the moon, and the underworld. Depending on who you ask. The one thing priests and poets agree on is that she carried with her a golden bow and a quiver of golden arrows. And it just so happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum. So it's a Diana. a statue of the goddess herself. And would you like to guess what she's holding in her hand? A golden bow. Precisely. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking, you know what. You want me to steal it? Oh, gods, no. If you tried that, we'd all be dead within moments, I'm sure. No, here's what I propose. Yeah, you Diana's were silver, leaf. Apollo's we were golden. thin layer of gold leaf, and we create a replica of our golden bow. Then, you enter the shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the yeah. fake for the original. It's not theft, exactly. It's more of a... a trade. Yeah, the gods but would make know. No mistake, this is a dangerous path, and there's no way of knowing where it will lead. But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first. Uh, not, 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 not liking it, Desius. You must have questions. Ask away. Because the gods would see you, of course. Hence my proposal. Do it yourself. I'm more of an ideas man, whereas you're obviously the more resourceful and heroic type. No, I have complete confidence in you. Is that extremely dangerous? When Prometheus stole fire from the gods and became a hero to all mankind. Do you think he was worried about Yeah, but danger? you're not doing it for all mankind. Yeah. Only because he was silly enough to get caught. So, are you in, partner? No. If you don't like action or horror elements, feel... I just, personally... Personally, I don't like this. Maybe on another playthrough, I'll do it. But on this one, I don't like... He's he's such a douchebag, and I don't like him. Are you sure? Last chance. Ugh, fine. Stay poor and ignorant forever, then. Yes, I will, thank you. What up, dude? Solarium... Locked chest. Shopping list. 
Things to buy once I've escaped. Villa on an Aventine Roam, a two-horse chariot, a seat on the Senate, a four-horse chariot, Villa on the Bay of Naples, a ten-horse chariot, a tw and twelve slave girls, pale and plump. I'm just going to stay quiet on that one. Minerva, Ramos, uh, this is anything. Sometimes I wonder if there's something on these busts. Aries. Man has standards. You would say that. Okay. Salve, Dooley. How are you doing today? I'm sad. Aw, oh, Dooley. Am I going to die in here? I don't think so, my friend. Uh, it's election day today. Hello? Perhaps our new magistrate will be- A ten horse chairman of a sports car, know. pretty much. What's your story? My name's Dooley. I live here now because I got in trouble and they they said they had to lock it's me about out. I should time you out for like 10 seconds for that. What did you do? I don't know. I don't remember things so good. Aww. I think it's just because I was looking for treasure. Yes, but I wasn't. I was just looking. So Greek mythology extends. I got bored of the Roman dude. How similar it was. Decided to do it late and never got the time. Once you and you started. Yeah, I can see how engineering and neuroscience is way more interesting than uh, basically Greek time. Greek done. Like Greek, Greek time. You know, Greek version 2.0. It's like five times the horsepower of your standard Roman's two-horse chariot. They said I did it. More than one. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me mean names. They called... They called me a liability. Yes. A liability? They said I have to live here now. And gave me Aww. this letter. I'm not good with words. Do you... Do you think you could read it for me? Yeah. Poor guy. Dudulius, I'm writing to you in relation to your incorrigible antisocial behavior arising from your obsession with an alleged lost treasure. While I am sympathetic to your plight and the passing of your guardian Hannibal some weeks ago, I wish to impress upon you the important message. The treasure you seek does not exist. Given your memory limitations, it seems likely you simply misremembered. More importantly, since you have on several occasions been caught trespassing, including around the cisterns, which are strictly off limits to all citizens, I have reluctantly come to the conclusion that you are a liability to this community and you must have your freedom limited, lest you break the golden rule. It is my hope that this letter will assist you to remember why you are incarcerated should you experience further lapses in memory. What does it say? Aww. Uh, it also it takes up most of my energy so there's none left for- Yeah. Except for streaming occasionally. This is true. Uh, my treasure. What treasure? My friend Hannibal used to look after me. And he said he always would. But then, he died. It was very sad. He said, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find him. Mm. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. 
Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius. And Ek. Ek. The priestess yeah. lady. <laughs> that was She's just a note to you. You have to have regular activity with it to relax with. Relax with. Yeah. I know the feeling. This this uh, this whole streaming thing was... was specifically started to play one specific game for Iren that has kind of gone by the wayside and I've kind of gotten a lot more into it and I already have a plan for what I'm going to do after I finish my master's degree because of course I do so yeah as, as, as I, I joked saying uh, you know I have a 40 hour of a week job I am finishing my master's degree in public health I uh, stream at least a couple times a week, hopefully, when I have games to play. I volunteer at a cat shelter uh, doing meds. And then suddenly I am completely and utterly surprised that I am diagnosed ADHD. I mean, it was like truly surprised Pikachu face. Just like, huh? And I'm already thinking about other things I want to do. Where it's like, oh, I want to, you know, I really want to get back into playing piano and get a piano concert going but you know it kind of shouldn't do that while on top of everything else it was horizon zero dawn um i have already played through it and i know the story but i ran kind of wanted to watch it and uh, that kind of got started on everything so currently too tired to stream get back to it in another week or so plan on playing annapurna games you know like edith finch journey okay yeah yeah i'm either never sleeping or i sleep 20 hours a day that's just it me the key and find out what unlocks. Hannibal said I sh shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't trust. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I, I would trust you a lot. Okay. Let me talk to the magistrate. Galerius already tried that. He said hey, the magistrate Ardonics. wouldn't listen, no matter what. Uh, maybe I'll just break you out. What about the rules? I don't want everyone to get in trouble because I was bad. Oh, God. Like, Galerius. He's nice. I like Galerius. He made Playing me a doll. Playing streaming the last 10 days. Ah. Oh. You help make him magistrate. He can get me out of here. And I can give you the so, key to my treasure. Socratic, are you an anime was... fan? In the At all? systems. I can't remember what it was. Just that it was way up high and very precious. Way up high and very precious. I'll see what I can do. Now, Horizon Forbidden West is what's coming out soon, but Zero Dawn. But if you are an anime fan and you like piano, I am going to pause for a moment and we are going to... Show, I'm, I'm going to link to you a piano, uh, a, a YouTube channel that you really, really, really need to just, like, listen to literally everything this man has done. There we go. I want you to, yeah, listen to everything that man has done. Because it's amazing. You're going to let me out of here? Really? Uh, oh. please. Oh. I hate it here. It makes me very sad. Never mind. Go. You mean treasure? My friend Hannibal used to look after. Yeah, I've already he done said that. He gave me this. All I remember now. No. Fair enough. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. So let's... Oh man, Galerius was here. What up, dude? What is this? I did not do it... Duly. Hey, Galerius. Oh, we have like a senate. 
Yes, I can hear you. Oh, he's... What do we got? Uh, the Myth of the Golden Rule by Dorotus the Younger. As for our custom, I shall begin paying my respects to the god responsible for the city. For our continued prosperity and tranquil seclusion, he deserves our admiration. But here I must depart from custom, for his attempt at imposing strict rule upon us is oppressive and overreacting and deserving of our contempt. Yeah, and look what happened to you, man. Save. Yeah, Love's End. Yeah, that's a... It's a popular one. I'll talk to Galerius. Let's see if we can... Uh... Fortune smile on you. I saw you use the device I made, and it worked! Yes, it did! Anyway, I'm sorry to ask, but is there any chance you'd be willing to do me a favor? What do you need? Well, I've been trying to get this rare flower from the rock spire in the middle of the lake. It's too steep to climb. Oh, setting so something up with snow. Oh, cool! The lake and made this pulley device, only I, uh, couldn't quite summon the nerve to use it. Do you think you could use the device again and try to get that flower for me? Uh, why do you need I, it? I, uh, I don't really feel comfortable talking about it. Do you have a little crush on someone? Look, I'll tell you everything if you get it for me. All right? Sure, why not? <sighs> Thank you. It would help me a lot. There's no rush, just whenever you get a chance. I'll see what I can do. What's well, your story? it's a long one and kind of sad, but I don't mind telling it. I have time. I'm a farmer. Always have been. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when of I was about 20, would think London my father is and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up, but by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground. And our cart was empty. That was my first encounter. Oh my god! I died Hi. of a broken heart soon after. And things welcome, went down Welcome! Welcome! I took over the farmstead. Uh, young. we're just, uh. It was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the we're morning. We're playing a bit of for Forgotten City, where it's, uh. These lots of story! Took whatever they wanted. Thank One you night, for coming! Welcome, welcome! Steel. There was a knock at the door. So we're kind of having like a bit of a. And what they wanted. Where we're having we're having some story and we're talking around. We're trying to like figure what what is going on. Like. It, split his face why are we talking to Mr. Clean? But there were more of them. I never saw how many. Because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs. We also don't want to spoil it. Yeah. My home. Oh, you were playing Red Zero Dawn again. My sisters. Well, once once uh, Galerius here stops alive. talking, I will I will go over kind of what we've discovered. Still burns whenever I think about it. Okay, so what we've so, so what we've discovered is I woke up on the side of a on a river next to Karen, literally her name. She said that her friend Al went into these ruins, uh, mouthful of dirt and lungs full of smoke. Did not know Mister Clean had to pay such a price. Yeah, uh, I did not play a lot of it. Uh, I didn't play it at all when it was a Skyrim mod, so I was I was kind of interested in this. But um, so I I've gone in after Al. Al got turned into a golden statue. Um, I go through a portal. I am now in 65 CE, uh, where if anybody sins at all, and of course we never know what a sin is, everybody gets turned to golden statues. Um, and it's my job to figure out uh, who's gonna sin. And, uh, so I have, like, a ton of quests. Oh, it's a tad bit cool. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well... And, uh, yeah, so I have a ton of quests, to and we're, I'm just kind of running around talking to people and gathering quests and figuring out what I want to do. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. 
those of us who survived, they enslaved. Aww. So, then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome. Yeah, the Sold only the, the only quest bidder. that I have definitely turned down. Thank you so much for the follow, Kindred. Learning the Romans' huh? ways. Romanized my name <laughs> and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times. Yeah. Thank you me. for the follow, Makura. Thank you, was. thank you. I'd probably still be there too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking. Ah, uh, enormous fire. See, about seven months and ago. And he stampeded into the river. Broke out in Rome. Yeah, deputy's deputy's uh, description is pretty accurate. Shouting. Never seen anything like it. Human beings acting It was like basically cats. gods or dicks. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. I'm talking to him Next to try and I get him to declare himself uh, Stumbled across this place for the magic. You know, to to try and my life over he wants again. to be the magistrate. Yeah, I'm glad things are found the end. That's what I thought too for a while, but it seems the gods aren't done tormenting me yet. See, I finally had my own. Bunny starts at one, I can stay up till three, now it's four, and he goes, Good night, I ran! Oh, Sorry! So I Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself. He'll take it from here, I'm going to bed very soon. <laughs> he even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then... Yes, yes, so, right. so if you don't like him, so, you should run a dear for magistrate. magistrate. Is no better than the legion thugs who took everything from me. You should run for... Right you should You should again. be a magistrate, Galerius. Don't you worry. Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his one day. He'll get his. Oh. Uh, forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away sometimes. Are you going to... Are you going to rub him out? Thanks, friend. I knew I liked you. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Uh, ever thought about writing for I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. Uh... Uh, maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom. So, I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. That's good enough for me. No, actually, apparently not. So, there was a guy who was in the baths who had a bow and was looking for this fugitive. And he asked me, do I know where Octavius is? And I either could have said, no, I don't know who that is, or I could lie. And I said, yes, I saw him... Uh, worshiping at a shrine around the corner it's the it's the first one on your left which i know because i died in that shrine uh it would actually collapse on him and so I, I did that he walks in it collapses and he died and nothing happened so apparently lying is not a sin so I yeah i could have i could have lied but I, I like him. I like Galerius. He's fun. He's like treasure. an inventor. Now a magistrate accused him of being a thief. That's nonsense, of course. Dooley's the most Neither is manslaughter. Man That's what I was worried Sentius about. Really has it in for him for some reason. That's what I'm worried about. That's what I, that's what I was worried about. I was like, I, I knew, like I knew that. Oh, oh it's a dead body. I knew that saying this would kill a man. As I was worried that, like, once he died, all the golden statues... Because it's basically, like, when you do something wrong, these golden these golden statues with golden bows come and start shooting everybody. I, I learned that out when I when I accidentally stole some, um... Stole some denarii. And... So... That didn't happen. And so I looted the body, and now I have a bow. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Gladly. Else. Gladly. Uh, well, as much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Scintilla, Sentius' daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could be she found There's a way so out. So many quests. If anyone knows for so sure, many it quests. Could be her sister, Sentia, but she'd never tell the likes of me. What do you think of the golden rule? Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here's got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's I like him. The thing is, like, he gave me, like, a zip line rider. It was kind of cool. You know? 
Oh, I didn't really like uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost Maliolus is worse. I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. Then do it! Alright, I'll go are we going now? Alright. See you around. Okay. So uh yeah, so these are my quests. <laughs> so here's my main goals. I have to uh, create the time paradox. So I find like coincidence resulting from a lie reasonably foreseeable that results in someone's death isn't a sin, but accidentally stealing stealing something is a sin because the game misreads your accidental taking of something as snickering villainously while taking something on purpose. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. You should have seen when I accidentally took some denarii. I was fr I was like, oh shit, shit, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I didn't, I didn't, I swear, I swear. And I had to run around. It was really bad. Okay, so like, I have my main goals is, you know, if I prevent, prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, then he'll never create the portal and be done, all this stuff. Uh, golden rule is who's, figure out who is most likely to break the golden rule, which I have a bunch of suspecting people, which is Isaac Galerius, uh, is, he's an angry man with a history of crime and extreme violence. I kind of like him, though. Um, I like Decius, who he let uh, somebody die because he's price gouging. Um, uh, fine Quinticus. Uh, Bantanos from Emperor Nero describes him as having one green eye and one blue eye. Uh, I suspect Domitus has been intimidating voters. I suspect, her, I suspect his daughter. She seems strangely relaxed about the dispenser of her sister. Uh, Lucretia swore she would kill Decius if uh, if he continued to withhold. I suspect Virgil, uh, somebody in the Virgil, somebody in the city believes Virgil is a, quote, sinner, unquote. Uh, Virgil's also gay. Yeah, it's only one of these people is actually, and I haven't even talked to everybody in here. But yeah, uh, Virgil is gay. And there's at least two Christians in the city. And uh, at least one of them is leaving him uh, very threatening notes. Because apparently you're not allowed to just be gay. You know? And I know one of the Christians is Octavius. Or Octavia. Octavia. So I need to find her. Um, so those are, And then I have Common Thread, which uh, Equitia, Equita, Equi, Equitia. I keep wanting to say Equitia. Uh, just basically ask them how they all got here. And, um, so far everybody has mostly mentioned fire causing a stampede and they fell into a river and then they woke up, uh, there was a stranger there and they all had memory lapse. And, hi Yuki, there is a kitty on my computers. Woo! Borgar and 20 piece nougats. But then I have literally, I have to persuade Decius to hand over the resin, get into Maliolus's villa, how to make him drop out of the election, get into the palace, figure out a treatment for rheumatism. And I need to search her possessions anyways, how to get into the upper cistern, how to stop his harassment, uh, how to get Galerius elected as magistrate. If Magistrate, if Maliolus drops out, he'll nominate himself. Okay. That's a success. Yeah, getting the burger and 20 piece nugget. That is a success. Uh, obtain a flower for Galerius and figure out what happened to Centilla. So I want, I want to get the flower. I want to get the flower. I like the flower. Okay, so he wanted a flower on the spike in the middle. So he wanted that. Okay. Trip failure after a brief trip to McDonald's accidentally taking one too many sauce packets and everyone being turned to gold. <laughs> but what if they give you too many sauce packets? Like, I've totally gotten some, um, I've totally gotten, like, chicken nuggets and I asked for, like, specifically a certain number and they give me, like, a bunch more. But, whoosh, apparently I can swim and not drown, which kind of leads me to believe that we're dead. 
So that's the thing. So that's another thing. So when um when I when I came in here, um there was hello. When I came in here, there was a um a bowl with pomegranates. <laughs> Tell scenarios you suspect the McDonald's employee of giving you too many sauce packets. <laughs> But, I mean, so, so yeah, but when, when I came in here, there was a bowl of pomegranate, which really makes me suspicious because, you know, pomegranates and Hades and Persephone, and also for the record, these, uh, these statues are creepy. I don't know if you noticed that, but their heads move. Okay, so I need to do the zip line. They also whisper at me, but like what like so we've got like another Mr. Clean and he's looking down. Yeah, let's see, so we so we we we've got a woman and then I'm gonna go over here. She's looking she's looking off that direction. I'm gonna turn away, to turn back, and now she's looking at me. Yeah. A little creepy, isn't it? Do not like. Very much so do not like. Okay, I need to get that. So he wants me to zip line and drop, I'm assuming. What do we have in here? And, uh, ooh, we have like the catacombs. No, nope, not a bow. Don't need a bow. There you go. I have flashlight. Where am I? It is an effective trick, isn't it? Like, it's very simple, but it's very effective. Hey. How much one of these statues is worth on the outside? There's a purple. Uh, Rufius. Uh, yes, Grumble. I love your clothes. I love oh, your you're clothes. Here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. Hi, Aurelia. And, uh, I hope I'm not being too forward. You are. The moment I laid eyes on you, I was I'm... intrigued. Sorry, There's really, I don't quite eyes swing that way. I mean, I technically don't swing anyway, and but... Sophistication. I mean, after being... I mean, I, I, I live in a lab, and I've never been outside, so I, I kind of am, you know, ace because of that. Because, yeah, my, my creator kind of, I, I'm assuming, got rid of everything there, so... Oh, well. You're charming as you are beautiful. Ugh. <sighs> Coming on a bit strong, don't you think? No, you were too. What? You came up to me. I take back what I said. Oh! Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just I... forget that ever happened, so we can at least do <laughs> business. So, what brings you to my tavern? Uh, what's your story? Ugh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. I'm fine! You know, normally... I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking me if I want to get out of here. I was... I, I, I was... That's cute, but Straight serious. to business, huh? I can work with that. As a matter of fact, I do know a way out. Do you? I'm happy to tell you all about it, but... This is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just... What if I like you or anything, Baka? Oracle. So... How badly do you want it? Is it worth, say, a thousand denarii to you? Uh, I don't have that kind. I don't know what I'd be buying. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you, you'll never have to spend another hour in this city. Woman, are you like again. making like butter or something from? 
Or, no, I, th I, th I think she's washing something. That is the, like, most... That's the dirtiest thing ever. Simple. It's a one-way trip, and I'm not ready to go just yet. Really? I like my life here. One day, maybe. But not now. Yeah, it's I kind of unethical. This way. I have something of value, and I'm willing to share it for a price. That's not unethical. That's just good business. There's a kitty on now, my computer. Do you want it or not? How do I know this isn't a scam? If I took your money without giving you what I promised, I'd be breaking the golden rule, wouldn't I? And apparently I lying no is not against the that. golden rule. I don't have that kind of money. Well, perhaps you could take out a loan. Ugh. I understand Maliolis has lent money to others on occasion. How do you think about it? I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. Yeah. As the saying goes, to drink is human. So we drink. We drink. Certainly. For ten denarii. There's ten denarii. Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair until one day she just snapped. This place has that effect on people. <sighs> now she just stands around, caked in filth, muttering nonsense to herself. It's a real shame. Now I have to do my own hair. Oh, okay. Let's talk about something Whatever else. Whatever you like. I'll be going. All right. See ya. Okay, yeah, she's just washing that one cup for all eternity. Save. You stay away from my money. I'm not doing anything. I'm just looking at your beer. Ah, extra protein. Yeah. Extra protein. Uh, Sisyphus is a uh, Greek uh, legend that, or shut up, lock, where he was punished to constantly be pushing a giant stone up a hill, and once he f once he was almost up there, he would slip or something, and then the stone would roll all the way back down, and then he was. Uh, and then he would have to start all over again. I'm not stealing. And the, so he was basically doing that for all eternity. I am not going to steal. I am going to be a good person. Because I have no idea how to get out of here. And Beautiful. I would totally die. Unless you want me to lifts his triple head. Drink. And lets out get his out. threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Can I, ta can I talk to you? Don't do what I did last time. I, I won't. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world. So this place accepts all the souls, but it does not notice the crowds that come. Oh, uh, he killed people in his palace, his home. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, it, it's not so much that he killed people, but he killed people in his own home. It's the violation of divine hospitality. Yeah, you're supposed to be always nice and hospitable to people who come into your home, and he killed them. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler. Of Literary the essay by Camus, which I haven't read, so I'm just Others alluding to a blind which he says, trades, we must imagine that Sisyphus is happy. He has one thing lives. he has to do, and it's directly in front of him, and he's always doing it. Okay. For Zeus's decree, you could not harm guests at your home, so Zeus punished him with this very special punishment for all eternity. It's like, I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about, Livia. They never do. Do you know a way out of here? There is only a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. <laughs> the Myth of Sisyphus. A lovely book prefer absurdum to existentialism, to, to be honest, or any other philosophy. 
Do you need help? Help me? You cannot help me. I have seen things. A pattern. I have seen a terrible things. Pattern. The things it that I have seen you cannot be unseen. Ignorant. Pandora's box. We're gonna must go crazy, guys. Closed. I'll say no more. The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. Of course, read the flag. I'm quoting this thing. I know. I just looked up on Wikipedia part of it instead of like actual literary knowledge of it. Pandora's box. Right. You know, I found a pattern. You saw. think you wish to know, but you do not. I do it wish is to know. For you, if you remain. I'll be going the now. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. Okay. I'm gonna do the crazy eyes. I like my crazy eyes. Prototype. A prototype zipline. Nope. 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 Not stealing again. Not stealing. I like my crazy eyes. I can also glare. I'll turn off my crazy eyes. Basic, uh, anyway, anyway, one. Aurelia stuck eternally cleansing a cup of Sisyphean, uh, cup of Sisyphean. Sisyphus content also describes the stream in which a bunch of Greeks are trapped doing the same thing over and over. Yeah. Basic idea is that life doesn't have a purpose, but the fact that we keep looking for one makes our lives worth living. Even if it's pointless, because there is no purpose, we add joy and activity and grief, etc. to our lives in our quest to find a purpose, which makes it worth it. Come That's here. the idea. Horatius? Looking a bit troubled there. Still no sign of Saint Villa. And I haven't Inspect. slept right in three weeks. Oh, the close face of a dyed horse hair. From what I hear, nobody saw it coming. Anyway, I thought you Stoics weren't supposed to worry about things you can't control. Gracious chest. Nope, yeah. not not steal. I, I I keep hitting escape just to try what not to steal. Something I can do. What if she's there out was there somewhere suffering? You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops like of water. And the tree you there was some... eludes you. Ah. There it is. Tomorrow's a new day. Translate. Galerius or Magistrate oh, no. countered by I would rather drink Aurelius special brew. <laughs> that's a bit harsh, don't you think? That's why that's why he says one must imagine Sisyphus happy because he's doing something totally pointless. The rock will keep rolling down every time he brings it to the top, but he's doing something. He has an aim, an objective, one we know we'll never reach. But still. I'm sorry you dropped barbecue on your shorts. Alright, so we're gonna try and zip line. And get the flower? Maybe? Ah, uh, nope. Okay, I can do this. I can do that. I can do that. And I'm going the wrong direction. I can do that, though. I can do that. Okay, 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 okay. That is the... How do I get the hell back? Oh, that's right. I go over here. I need to try this. I just need to go back up the hill. It's, it's an illusion. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. It is indeed... An illusion. Alright. Back up the hill I go. Except that's not where I need to go. I need to go over here. I guess I go over there. Okay. I do go up and up and up and up and over. Yeah, so this is where I came from. This is where I came from, and the first thing I see is this bowl of pomegranates. And I have a relief for Proserpina. A relief to bring the great circular portal on Proserpina, the Roman goddess of the cycle of life under rules. So as a grim one, it said she was abducted by Pluto and forced to marriage against her will. Hence, the, we have, in, instead, of Proser, instead of Proserpina and Pluto, it's uh, Persephone and Hades. 
and the first thing I see is pomegranate. Uh, no, I don't believe it's running in real time because I've been doing a lot of stuff lately, and uh, the um, we haven't yet had uh, the the election. Although I think once I get that flower, I'm gonna probably yes. Well, that's interesting. Once, once, once I get this flower, I'm gonna probably going to uh, end stream because I probably do need to get to bed soon. Zip line. No. What is this? Can I go there? Nope. Yes, I can hear you. Currently running on hot cocoa, two hours of sleep, McDonald's, and my body feels amazing. It has been three. It's, it has been three hours, though. I have streamed for eight. This is true, but I also, when I streamed for eight hours, I started at noon. So here's the other thing. I don't know if this was an intentional, but I can't drown. You notice, like, I can't drown. There's no air. Yeah, Rio, Rio, go, go slap. You, you must Ned, you must Ned slap. But I tell you, go slap. Can I, can I get the fish? Can I get the fish? Can I get the fish? Okay, I cannot get the fish. Okay. Ah. So I basically need to jump practically the moment I start. What? There's an air meter in the bottom left corner? There wasn't any! I have swum all the way around! Well, that's an easy way back up. Well, I'll end up falling anyways. Okay. I'm here. Nope. Nope. Oh, what do you know? There is an air meter. Well, shit, though that gets rid of that idea. All I can say is I'm holding my breath for a long time. Fringe, were you ever going to tell me, or are you just going to let me sit there and be an idiot the entire time? Thank you. I, I, I'm, I'm glad you... Okay, thank you, I, I guess. That's just creepy. I go up here, and I go left here. This is a faster way. Oh, we have, we have. Don't say anything. Don't hear when. Don't whatever. They didn't get a chance to finish. Yeah. I can't get in there. Okay. I listened to you when you said for me to sleep and my body has so much energy, it's a power plant, my brain is literally running on two That it basically means you're you're you've hit your like second or third or fourth or fifth wind and it just trust me, once you actually relax, you will be able to get to sleep. I've done this. No! Ah. What are you? Do we literally we have like okay, I was, I was like Hi, butterflies. I am walking on water. Butterflies. Okay, I want to get up there, but that's not going to help me. All right, fine. Okay, yeah, I'll come back anytime. 
anytime. I mean, I've, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for the raid, and I hope you'll come back. I just want to get this flower. If I get this flower, then I'll go to bed. I need to get this flower. Let's have the flower. Let's get the flower. Let's get the flower. Let's get flower. Ah, and I jumped too long. What? It's like very particular. Froggy. I will get the flower. There's a cat on top of my tower, which is next to my leg, and her whiskers are tickling me. I I barely get started, and I hit okay. Thank you. I would love your help if you could, you know, do something other than he listens through their ears. I wonder... Stretch. Stretching. Ugh. I've popped my neck. Stretch. <sighs> okay. Thank you for the stretch, Rio. Yes, it felt good. I just, I like, it's such a weird timing. But hey, look, I have some, uh, like, I, I, I did find the Denari in there, so. We'll get him. Greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations. Why is that accent get- I wear- There's a- See, I just- I, I go a little bit too far, but if I- I- like, I've- I, I've- I've stopped- I've- I've jumped, like, a brief second before that, and it automatically, like, dumps me beforehand, so... Yes, it is refusing to do the timing, you are right. Not gonna lie, this makes me want to reload up uh, Skyrim. Ah! Riveting stream. I know it's completely riveting. This is like the coolest stream ever, isn't it? Just it's it's the definition of insanity. No, the flower can be caught. We'll catch the flower. I will. We're gonna we're gonna be angry, angry, frustrated bun. Ah! It ah! Which I should have kept pushing E. I thought I needed to click on it. <gasps> are, are you are, are you are, are you having fun? Sounds like the statue went to give you some protein. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, and of course I went over. So angry. So very angry. I am so glad I'm not actually in lab tomorrow. I can sleep in. I am teleworking tomorrow. I kind of had this conversation with a friend of mine as we were both leaving work at the same time. Uh, she, I was like, oh, you know, we're both teleworking. She's like, yeah, I telework. You know, I kind of, you know, I check my email like twice. And I'm like, yeah, I check my email and then I go to sleep. Oh, 
Fuck yes! No! No! Greetings and salutations. Feel sorry for Fringe. I'm like three feet behind him. And so he gets to hear me scream in real time. And without the benefit of my mic peaking and you don't get to hear the full effect. Yes! Oh, I have... <laughs> yes, Fringe Fringe does get to hear me scream no matter where it is in the house. <sighs> but he loves me, right? Fringe Fringe loves me, right? It's true. Fringe loves me. There's a freaking wall right here! I don't know why he loves me, but he does. And I am happy for it. Okay, now I gotta go give the, the flower to Galerius. Greetings and salutations. Greetings. God, that accent why it's been like so mm, there's something that it's 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 tickling my memory and i can't turns. looking a bit troubled there still no sign of centella and i haven't slept right three weeks hilarious you doing okay from what i hear nobody saw it coming Anyway, I thought you Stoics weren't supposed to worry about things you can't control. Galerius. Yeah, but... Galerius, you doing okay? I keep thinking. What if there is something I can do? What if she's out there somewhere, suffering, waiting to be found? <laughs> oh, is, like is he talking to Horatius? He was, like, upstairs? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> to relax. Get some rest. Tomorrow's a new day. <laughs> They're talking through the ceiling. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in, friend. Now, what's on your mind? I have the flower! Brilliant! You did it! Well done! This is going to make her so happy. Equitia, I mean. Uh, now I just you're have to gonna have a how to give it to problem. Her. What I really want to do is walk up to her, give her the flower, and confess I've been madly in love with her since the moment we met. But on the other hand, I can't shake the feeling that the consequences could be... terrible. They... Really would be. She is a vest. She's a vestal priestess. You mean aside from her execution? You see, Equitia is a vestal yep. priestess, meaning she's taken a vow of chastity, the breaking of which would be an extremely serious affront to the gods and a capital offense. Even if she was just suspected of being unchaste, it could lead to her execution. Unchaste vestals get buried alive. Oh, and I'd get flogged to death for good measure. But at the same time, she's just so kind and graceful and i feel so much love for her that if i don't tell her it'll burn a hole in my chest i don't know what to do what do you how, think how about i talk to her what would you do i'll talk to her <laughs> oh god what should i say should i tell him should i tell him just be like just consequences be damned or can admire her for discreetly from afar. If you really love her, you need to get over her. Or I'm no relationship counselor. You know what? Tell her and then let her make her decision. Hmm. Now that I hear you say that out loud, I hear how crazy it is. <laughs> I think maybe I need to be a bit more cautious. Exactly. What I need is a go-between. <laughs> Someone who can tell her how I feel and find out how she feels without risking her life what do you say do you think you could help me one more time dude can you at least look at me when you're asking me 
wonderful. Now, all I need you to do is give her the flower and tell her it's from a secret admirer. Tell her I'll keep my distance and that I just want her to know that she's loved. Uh, that's corny, but all right, I'll do it. Oh, thank you. Come back as quick as you can and tell me what she says. All right. With that said, I have gotten the flower. I'm just going to save. I'll do a quick save to be sure. And I think uh, that's going to be it for tonight. Let's uh, let's let's find somebody to to raid. Thank you everybody for sticking around, and uh, and 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 seeing this really 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 weird stream. Um, so let's find somebody to raid. Let's see is anybody else doing the Forgotten City. Is there anybody doing it other than me? Oh, there's a few. Wow, somebody has like 463 viewers is doing it. Yeah, we're not going to do that one. Yeah, somebody's, uh, when a Skyrim mod... Be it's weird, but it is a nice game, isn't it? I'm going to mute this tab. Um, okay, so nobody's doing that. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm going to... Is he, is he streaming? Aw, oh, he's not yet streaming. Okay. I was going to, uh, to, to, to raid, uh, Zalion, but, uh, he's not streaming. So... I think, um, let's see... Abadir, there's somebody that I, that it, that is a good um a, a a person that I followed. They are playing a game called We Need to Go Deeper. And uh, so once, so you know once uh yeah he normally streams uh like Tues Tuesdays starting at eleven oh no starting at ten p.m uh central which means which means he'll be, he'll be streaming in 10 minutes so well crap she's not let's see here adventure time weirdo beardo nah. i really would like to 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 stream to uh to to raise no, no! no! I, I've already drank all my water. But I'll see if there's anything left. I have like two drops left. Uh let's see here. Who can we raid? I mean we can also raid we all we can always raid Pocky and, and chips. Um There's always people doing Ori. I like Ori. Um, if anybody else has a, has a suggestion, we can always, uh, raid somebody there too. I really wanted to raid Dazalion, actually, but I, I should have gone for a little bit longer. Huh, that's sadness. What's Loki there even doing? I have no idea what he, oh he's music culture okay it's like we could just sit and chit chat until uh, he comes on but I really want oh there she goes all right so yeah she is she's now up playing uh, we should go deeper so I'm going to go ahead and immediately raid Abadir thirty seven uh, she has eighty seven followers she's um, she I, I found her because she was doing Ori and uh she's uh, she's been a lot of fun. So uh everybody give her a uh give her you know say hello and uh be nice. And I would thank you everybody for sticking around and um I will see you all next time. I uh maybe streaming me doing my R data analysis um uh coming up because I do need to get that started. 
And then Saturday night, Chips and I are going to watch together. Um, it is, it's, it's Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, but also not. It is called, it, it is, it is basically, um, it is the Chinese bootleg of Revenge of the Sith with the Chinese subtitles back translated into English, but badly, but like using Google Translate. And so, so the name actually, uh, the name actually translates to Star War the Third Gathers, uh, Backstroke of the West. So, on Saturday evening, we'll be watching Backstroke of the West, and I hope you all, uh, join us for it. It is, it is absolutely hilarious, and, uh, everybody needs to watch it. That is Saturday evening. Yes, Chips and I are gonna Chips and I are gonna watch it together. Hopefully, they remember. And uh, if even if they don't remember, I'm watching it, and I hope you will all join. Okay. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and end stream, and uh, we're gonna raid Abadir. And everybody have a wonderful night. And I hope to see you later this week. Uh, and if not later this week, I hope to see you Saturday when we watch Backstroke of the West. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>